it's good to be back. I, I've been craving this all weekend. I wanted to pop back in and play some more of this. Get a sort of base area set up. I've got ideas in mind. Oh, I've, uh, I don't know. There's just something about it. I'm kind of, kind of excited and also a little bit worried. But I think all in all, everything is going to blend together. It's going to be a super fun experience. Um, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, or at least I got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, when it comes to transforming this area here into a factory, because, well, this is essentially kind of like Satisfactory, but in Minecraft, yeah, yeah. it's going to have to be, uh, because we are going to have to build out factories that do specific tasks for us. And I don't really want to make it super compact, right? It's something I don't want to do. I want to, I want to make these things, these areas bigger and maybe try to come at create differently than I've ever came at it. If that makes sense. Um, I want to come at the create mod with a way, uh, that doesn't try to keep things super compact. I'm sure I will have some things that are compact, but I don't want everything to be compact um i want to try things differently i don't know by the way welcome in wolf's den good to see you here um soup the spaghetti welcome welcome and thank you for the bits also uh vantasurex welcome back with the 13 mighty months appreciate that right at the start of the stream um holy crud you're early on how hard is it to keep track of your schedule chosen um it's uh it's a thing. My Missouri brother from <laughs> another mother. <laughs> welcome in, my Missouri brother from another mother. Oh goodness. Dash ninja, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the four mighty months. How do I keep up with everything? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I don't know. I just kinda like let my brain wander sometimes. You know, that's how I, I feel. That's what I, how I want to treat most things. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Oh, that's too good. The spell. This book is too good. Why does it have to be this good? I don't know. But yeah, my goal is to get this all cleared out. I'm pretty sure we should, like, we should probably use a water bucket to do the clearing. Or maybe we can use a hoe. I don't, I don't know. Vanta should be over here. Pretty sure they're set to not despawn. I don't know. The, the, the player mobs, they wander off sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they are. And get eaten. Oh, missed. <laughs> I missed again. Oh, but yes. Um, so this is the area that I'm going to be calling the base. Um, so we are going to start expanding from here. There's not a lot of trees nearby, which is the only bad part about this whole seed. Ah, I was in already. Yeah. Yeah, I was running from you at the beginning of the stream. This is the place we're leaving. Um, yeah. There's a lot going on here. Uh, lots of heads. Um, yeah. So I streamed Friday and then I was like, you know what? I wanted to join back in. So I streamed Friday night. So if you're in here normally during the morning hours, like today, then, uh, you probably missed that stream potentially. But it was quite chaotic. Uh, we ended up getting all kinds of goodies. I think we found this during the thing. We looted the buildings. Um, we got our first saw set up. And so we have a saw now. And so we have all these fun things to kind of play around with. And so today, sort of the goal, I guess you could say, is to get a storage set up and get things moved into the new area. So that is going to take quite a bit of time, but we should hopefully be able to get the majority of that done. So I hope. I really love that this exists, so it makes early game storage so much easier. Having some way to just automatically put things in storage. Alright. So yeah, that's going to be the idea. Why are there... Um, so, is there a way to cheer bits without spamming you with player mobs? Uh, no. N no. I could like, I could disable it. You know what? 
I can disable the redemptions for that kind of stuff today. If you guys think it's a good idea. I don't have a problem with that. Um, it, you could still uh, cheer, but it will, the, the player mobs won't, won't spawn. Right? All I have to do is just uh, expand all of these. And that way we can get some stuff done. I think that's a good idea. You know, at least allowing today for us to get some sort of storage in, my, in place. I'll still leave the, uh, the, the mob spawns via donations through PayPal. Through the Streamlabs link. Um, which does the same thing. But I'll make it different here. I just need to disable the repeat outcome. That should be pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Hopefully it doesn't throw anybody off. Yeah, that'll allow us to... Uh, what's this one doing? This just spawns one. I don't mind that one. Actually, you know, we'll disable all of them. For today. All right, so there we go. So that's all fixed. So now, only gift sub redemptions uh, will spawn in mobs. Subs, subs and gift subs will only spawn in mobs. Bits will spawn in an in-game notification and a sound effect for right now. I feel like that's a good idea, so that way we can kind of calm play today. I think uh, I think that would be really good. I mean, I know I'm shooting myself in the foot there, but it's okay. So uh, you've missed some streams of Arc Engineering. Well, y Friday we streamed in the morning, and then we also streamed in the afternoon. So we ended up... So far, we have about nine hours into the pack. Roughly nine hours, I think. I think I streamed for like five or six hours. All we really did was loot some buildings. So um, we ended up getting this uh, book in a ship. Just to kind of recap, we got a book in a ship that was out here somewhere near this island. Um, the book for flight. And then we did some more exploring. Uh, there was a building right here that was an Ars Nouveau building. And so we looted it, um, and then over here was a factory building from Create, so we looted it. We really should do more looting, that's honestly what we should do. It's just super dangerous to loot. Um, and then we went over here, and there was a observatory that we looted, right here. Had a lot of Create stuff and a lot of copper. And then I think over here, yes, there was another Ars building that we ended up looting. Um, and then we also went into a dungeon, like a, a mob dungeon, which right here is the entryway. But it also, it was inside this giant hole, which is kind of cool, because right here there's also a pillager outpost. But there's also some geodes down here. There's a gold geode and an, uh, an iron geode, which are renewable, that we'll end up getting into eventually, which is kind of nice, because I thought this spot right here was going to be the perfect place to call home. Because it's nice and flat, and with create, you know, verticality gets kind of rough. So I thought that that would be a pretty good option. But, I think we need to go more tree farming today. So, you know what? While we're doing this, we can actually get that started. Um, so I have my saw. I have my hand crank. I think in here there was a lot of random junk. Um, I just need, I don't need a hand crank. Let's see if I can pull all of this stuff in my inventory. Okay, so a lot of stuff we're able to push out. That done. All we need is our saw and a starbuncle wheel. Thankfully, you can find the starbuncle wheels inside the, the villages, the buildings. And I was, I was like, that's kind of ridiculous. It's awesome. Um, and then we also upgraded our backpack. So we have this backpack and then this backpack. And then we have this backpack, which is quite large. That we ended up finding, which was a brass one. So... You can't beat finding a brass one. That was pretty awesome. Um, let's see. We'll put the saw also in here. We have our couple of axes. That's fine. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we really need to use our explorer's compass and we need to go adventuring. Do we have more food? Surely I have more wheat. Maybe I do have more bread laying around. Nope, I do not. Um. Trying to think what would be good. Hmm. So you missed some streams. What, um, what arcane engineering? Uh, what is arcane engineering? This is a create based mod pack, which was supposed to be like a predecessor to create above and beyond in that way. Chances are the spam was a result of everyone being more free on Friday. Probably, probably plays 100%, but it's okay. Maybe today will be a little bit more chill. Either way. Um, oh, also, I want to... I think I can use this, right? To make a quantum catcher? Yes, we need to make a quantum catcher right off the bat. That is going to be very handy. Maybe even two. I should totally make two of these. Or, or should I use these? Like, right? Because you, you get these as a drop. Yeah. Right? Do they drop from the ore? Sure, we can make them eventually. But for right now, it does seem like they also spawn in loot pools. And making quantum catchers is going to be super nice. Oh, Bob yoinking. Like a boss. Talk to corporate like a boss. 24 of those bad boys. All right. So we'll put all that away. And yes, uh, we need a little bit of food. That's what I was confused about getting. Um, we could munch on some apples maybe, just in case. We have apples literally everywhere. Dumped a nearby stack. If only we could just pull from nearby. But we won't need that much. Maybe we'll find some wheat along the way and then we could just craft it up. Speaking of crafting it up, let's actually grab a crafting table. Unfortunately, your backpacks don't have upgrade slots. Is that one of the things we can make? Um, so you get plus one upgrade slots with an obelisk and then final PCBs? What? Holy smokes. That's a lot. That's a, a final PCB? Is villagers in here? You can find maxed out backpacks and loot chests. Oh my God, thank God. Um. Okay, so wood types, wood types, wood types, wood types. This is important, this is very important. Um. We're gonna have tons of mineral, which makes sense because that's a, a really abundant tree, but I do wanna create multiple tree farms um, to have a sustainable wood source and also fuel for smelting and things like that. So um, oak is going to be one of the best things that we can use. I think, but I really want spruce. So I want to hunt for the big spruce trees. Wouldn't it be an old growth spruce taiga? Just a taiga. Oh, taiga. Um, oh, there's different kinds of taigas. Looking forward to the next All the Mods video. Really enjoying the pack. Well, the next video, spoilers, it's all about how everyone in the comments was wanting me to make a gas burning generator. So I made it only to find out that that bad boy is nerfed by like 10 times. It is 10 times less productive than it is by default. It only produces 7,000 RF per tick at max, which is ridiculous. Oh, you remember talking to me about all the mods server chat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am like... <laughs> Skylands. A 
so far away. Will you play with mine colonies in all the ones nine? No, I actually mentioned that in a earlier video, an earlier episode that I'm probably not going to be doing that uh, for good reason. And I explained my reasoning, but um, the main reason is, is the, that uh, the fact that it's, it's not, it doesn't really suit videos very well. And I've done it before. Um, I've played with uh, mine colonies in the past and it's, it's like a fetch quest game. It's like almost like a mini game, right? For Minecraft, which is really fun. Don't get me wrong. It's really fun. But when you're doing it for videos, it does make it a lot harder to figure out how to make that content really engaging for an episode. And I don't know if I'm the person to do those kind of videos. Not that I don't like the mod. I think the mod is fantastic and I do love the, the cool aspect. I think it'd be great on stream. It'd be really fun to do like something like that on stream, but to make videos where it's just jump cuts, it ends up being just a lot of me doing everything in the background without making any like cool things. Like everything gets made for you and you're just fetching these items. Weird. A lot of cool time lapses. Oh, they're doing time lapses. I mean, time lapses could work. I don't really have a good way of doing time lapses in 120 Forge without using a secondary computer. Ooh, what is this wood? Maple. Maple. What do, what do the logs look like for this? Hey, Chosen, remember back in the beginning of Vault Hunter's SMP series, you had an annoying shadow bug on the frame blocks um, you used on the roof. Um, how did you go about fixing that? Uh, a shadow bug. Oh my god, this log is beautiful. I don't remember a shadow. I mean, I remember there just like not being a texture, sort of. Like the texture would just completely glitch out. Have I played dark RPG? No, I have not. Wow, these logs look really good. I don't know how they, good they would look in like an overall build, but I do like these a lot actually. Hmm. Is this the silver maple leaves? This is the maple leaves. These are, are these maple leaves? These are maple leaves too. Huh. See if I can get my saw on here and get to chopping away. All I need is the saplings, right? There's maple sapling. Um, let's try that. Boop, 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 boop. So cool how it like drops the items like in the direction of the tree being chopped down. I still think that's inc an incredibly cool, like, little detail. Incredibly cool little detail. It's really hard to farm these trees, though, because of the dirt all around them. Because I've been watching the chunk by chunk VODs and really enjoy it. Have you ever considered playing Fantasy Skies? I, I don't know what that is. No, I, have, I haven't seen it. Sounds cool. 
That's a good name. Whoever come up with a name sounds fantastic. Fantasy Skies. Even though I really hope it's just not like a bunch of like of those fantasy style mods like Twilight Forest and everything just in Blue Skies mod just like over and over again. Because it does get pretty repetitive for me when I do play with those mods over and over again. It's it's no fault to the mod itself. It's it's just it's me. Because I play a lot of mod packs and I get through them very quickly. Even though it appears like I get through them very quickly. But in a year, I will maybe play six mod packs, you know, throughout the whole year, six or so. Um, and I do spend multiple months on them and, and, and several hours every day. But it may only get 30 episodes because each episode contains like four to five hours worth of gameplay. So it gets it gets pretty repetitive when you've gone through like I think I've gone through Blue Skies like three or four times through the entirety of the mod, all the bosses, everything. Oh, I don't know if somebody linked something. I can't see what the message is where they got deleted. Oh, no. How many hours have I spent on all the mods nine so far? Well, you can kind of do the math. I have uh, 12 episodes now recorded, uh, I believe. So um, there are, so we can do 12 times a minimum of four. I know it's more than that. So I have almost 50 hours in all the mods nine so far. I'm going to estimate it's got to be close to 50 or more. Yeah, 50 or more hours. It's definitely in that range somewhere. Like we already have nine hours just in this. It sounds like a lot, but like in in Volcano Block, I think we got through the entirety of the all the mods star. I mean, we got through it and I think it was six, like six days worth of gameplay. The Crafty Dog, good morning. Welcome. Merry Christmas, everyone. Dude, I tried, you know, speaking of Christmas time, I tried to find a hat, a hat, a, the Santa hat that would fit my enormous head. No luck. I had no luck. Walmart didn't have it. Hobby Lobby didn't have it. I'm just destined to never be able to wear hats, chat. I just can't wear hats. It's just a fact. The fact my head is literally too big. This is not a camera effect. My head is actually that big. This is like a normal size mug. All right. Well, actually, it's a, quite a large mug, to be fair. Here's an Xbox controller. This is an Xbox. Oh, it's, it's, it's green screened out. <laughs> Here's an Xbox 360 controller, right? I have an enormous head, dude. I have, I have an enormous head. I don't know why. Here's a, here's a, here's a Game Boy. Uh, yeah, a DS light. Like it's, it's, my head is huge. Okay. And so hats don't fit me which sucks. I hate that. I can't wear, like, I have to have, like, if I was to ever have a cowboy hat made, like, it would have to be custom made. I can't just buy one from the store. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think my head being big, big makes uh, my brain any larger because it doesn't really, I don't feel any smarter than anybody else. But, oh, man. It does suck that you can't wear hats. Like I can, I haven't found hats, even snapbacks. Snapbacks don't fit me. I, I'll have it on the last snap and it still is not big enough. They have to be like custom made, which is very ridiculous, but there's a lot of sloshing inside. Yeah, it's weird when I get real bad headaches, right? Whenever I just kind of move my head around, there's just a lot of dead air in there. You know, I'm just gonna like for these. Hey, wait, did that spawn? It did. Oh, it, you guys, you went down there. I'll, I'll go back down there and get you. We need a. We definitely need to farm these trees. So I'm gonna stand over here. 
should farm the whole thing. Yeah. Because we need a good amount of those saplings. We don't need ether logs. I don't even know what that is. Ether bulbs. We need these. Wee! You should be down here. That is one big splash. I hit the, I hit the water and I went... <laughs> Mr. Nix, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> it's too good. I can't just not laugh at it. I love it. I love that spell book. It's so good, actually. Those are pretty island. Yeah, these those islands are so nice. And they give you lily pads of fertility. Like, we're totally using those today. At least I want to. I think I can stream for several hours today. Several hours today. Oh, there's doggos over there. <gasps> we should get a doggo, chat. We should get a doggo. <gasps> we can get doggos too. We get two of them. Two doggos. Come here. Whoop. Whoop. We grabbed them in our quantum catcher. Yeah, bro. Now we got doggos. That's sick. Sick, sick, sick. What spell was that? This is a projectile fangs, delay launch, amplify delay, launch, amplify firework, amplify. It's a, it's called For Fortnite Pros Audition. I don't, I, I feel like there's a reference there that I don't understand because I never played Fortnite, so. It's something. And this one's called Vault, and this one's called Takeoff. That we, we found these books. These are found books. These are loot books. Go to sleep. All right, there we go. The one thing we haven't done is we haven't gone like mining for redstone and stuff. We've only just like looted redstone. It's the name of the developer of the mod pack. It's called Fortnite Pros? That's the dev of the mod pack? That would make sense. Oh my God, his name is, oh my God, his name is Fortnite Pros 420. That's a username, all right. I wonder what that username will be like years from now. But I'm assuming Fortnite will stay relevant for a very long time. That's for sure. I love that pro. <laughs> I love that name. I was wondering, I thought this was like directly related to Fortnite, but it makes sense now. I wonder though, still, audition. This would have been a cool book to call like the Ban Hammer. Ban Rocket, I don't really know. Why I don't make things like this. <laughs> the Chosen, how many chunks have you punched lately? What? What are you, what are we talking about? Is this the forest? Yeah, it's gotta be the forest here. Okay, here we go. This is the place we were looking for. I, I've not, I've not punched very many chunks. At least Fortnite has a ball and a gun. Does it? Here we go. We'll stand over here. This is probably not a good place to stand, typically. Oh, it only broke the one. 
Does that mean I have to break all of these? I don't have a problem doing that, but... This saves so much time. Timber! Do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna need a bunch of these. A bunch of them. I thought it would chop down the entire thing, but I think I think spruce is an exception. Oh my god. It just throws them way over here. Uh, Chrome, thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate that. It's a loading, ready, run joke. Is that a hamster wheel? <laughs> it's a Starbuckle wheel, yes. The stress is coming from a Starbuckle. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's goofy, I know. It is one way that you can get stress, and you can find this by looting. They like gold, too. It's pretty cool. I think so far we got pretty lucky on our start. It's a magical hamster. Yeah, true. It's like a squirrel. It's more like a squirrel. Holy smokes, that's, that threw that so far. Yeah, it's definitely more, more like a squirrel, I would say. There's another ship. We should definitely loot that. While we're over here, we should see if there's more buildings that we can loot. There's that. Ah, there's more trees. Bloop. Press steel, more emeralds. We a treasure map. Nothing. No treasure map. All right, maybe this will have the treasure map, right? This one takes a moment. Yep, there's the treasure map. Mm. So we need to head this way a little bit. Somewhere over here. How am I doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Are you doing candid? And not candid. What am I talking about? Uh uh uh. It's right here. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. Blah, 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 blah. It is right here. Right here. Should be right here. Right? Yep. We'll get to it. 
There we go. Ooh, a snorkel. Well, that's pretty darn convenient, isn't it? <laughs> that's pretty darn convenient. Water troubles no more. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Look at that. Now we can breathe underwater indefinitely. Do the artifacts finding them in this pack is that's a, it's a must. It's definitely a must. You're doing good. Well, that's good to hear. So is this create ours pack? This is a, this is an expert pack. Um, this is an expert create mod pack. Much like create, um, above and beyond was. Except that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's honestly just like that pack. Very similar. It even says it in description. But yes, it does have, uh, it is in this regard. It's, it, it is, does have tech, but it's definitely a, uh, a magic create mod for sure. Got that scuba gear. Now it can be scuba Steve. Scuba Steve, chat. You guys remember that movie? How many of you guys watched Big Daddy like more than once? Growing up, I watched I watched Big Daddy probably too many times. I think that and Waterboy is probably my favorite Adam Sandler movies. 100. I love Big Daddy. You've never seen Big Daddy? Oh my god, it's such a good movie. It's such a good movie. Oh, Billy Madison's also fantastic. Oh yeah, I can't I can't like knock that movie because that movie is that that movie's golden. That movie's straight up gold. Once was enough? I mean I s I've seen it quite a few times. I feel like it was played on repeat. It was almost like my babysitter at, at some point. Oh my god, these trees. That's kind of crazy looking when it just all like... There's no way it was that tall. It just throws it. Happy Gilmore, yeah, those the, the golf movies are really good. With a guy with his hand gone, it's like, how, how'd you lose your hand? The alligator. I reached in to grip my ball. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Deeds. Yeah, there's a lot of good Adam, Adam Sandler movies. It's like crazy how how many good movies he he has been in. They put out a lot of good comedy movies. Oh yeah, the black. <laughs> all right, so that's all the spruce I think I'm gonna need. Oh, there's another tree. I should grab that while I'm over here. You liked him in Pixel? I just didn't like the movie Pixel. <laughs> I thought that movie was so dumb. That was that was an outlier. I don't think that one was fair. I thought that movie was so weird. I missed a waystone. There's a waystone over here. I can't pick him up, unfortunately. But we can get to him. I wish they had at least let you move the waystones with like um, with create. I don't know why they. They have it blocked where you can't pick them up at all. You can't move them with create contraptions. Pixel is a fever dream. That movie is so interesting. Where was the...
You guys have eagle eyes, I tell you what, sometimes. Where'd you see a uh, waystone? Thank you for the follow, by the way. Appreciate that. I assume it's maybe over here. It's it, oh, there it is. Yeah, we can set this location to be like spruce. Thank you, Ray Media. Thank you, thank you. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to the crew. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we call this like spruce, the spruce area. Unfortunately, we can't pick them up. Doesn't have you seen the Hermitcraft TCG, uh, the card game, the cards? I have seen it. It is pretty sick. What a cool thing, like to have made your own like game. That is so cool to me. They've always got some great ideas coming out of that group. Do you have a home base yet? Yes, I do. How's it going, Polar? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the three months with the Prime. Yep, today we're also setting up more of the base. <laughs> yep, we're setting up more. Good thing we can use this waystone to get back. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the Waystones of the very first release of CAE, and honestly, I might be a reason why they got nerfed. What was the issue with them? Like, I just, you can't move them. I, like, I understand not being able to move them early game, but it, but I figure, like, late game, may, at least being able to move them with, um, with create. Your argument was surrounding create trains. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just thinking be, being able to move them. See, trains are still great, and I think are still needed in this pack, and you 100% still need trains. Uh, that's how you're going to get your resources back and forth. But yes, you can always prolong the inevitable by using your white stones to get from one location to another. Um, these are instant travel that cost experience. But what I was thinking is at least being able to move them with a contraption down the road. Because you can't do that right away. So you're still limited with them early on. Until you get your first uh, cart contraption that you can use. Um, which I don't know how far away that is. But... I know it's it's pretty early on. All right, we need this. We got a lot of farms we need to set up. Sugarcane farm needs to be up. There's a lot of things. But yeah, oh, that's one thing. Um, luckily, the version you're playing on they can be crafted. Um. Oh, you think? Oh, cool. But yeah, that's that's so late. That's so late, though. Yeah, that's that's down the road. That's so down the road. You personally would make waystones movable if they only spawned in villages. Is there not a config to make them only spawn in villages? Okay. Um. Let's see. I don't mind it though. I don't honestly don't care. It's what was really nice was finding this book. I think though, both times I have played this pack. I typically looted quite a bit at the beginning. So when, even when I played on the supporter server, I looted quite a bit. And I also found this book. So this book can't be that rare and hard to find. 
Um, the chances of me finding both of them is pretty slim. But, I mean, there is a possibility that I just got incredibly lucky both times. I'm great. Welcome, welcome. Turner, they can make the teleportation more expensive. Because the XP caps at three levels. Three levels is a lot, though. That's three levels regardless of how many levels you have. That's the downside of that. All right, let's put... Oh, that's a regular mineral sapling that we got lucky and got out of that. This is using functional storage. How expensive are these? These are normal recipes. Normal recipes. Normal recipe. Recipes. Collector upgrade? I don't even know what that does. Is this a, a vacuum? I feel like I... Uh, let me see if he's got it listed on here. Oh, he's got it listed. Collector upgrade. Collects items on the ground. Yeah, it is a vacuum. It's a vacuum upgrade. So a collector is a vacuum. Please will anyone be my friend? I recommend joining my Discord if you haven't already. It's a great place to uh, meet new people and find friends. What a perfect plug for Discord. We've over 30,000 members over there, so. And people hang out in the voice chat all the time. But yeah, anyways. Um, there's the downgrades. I was just looking to see how functional this function mod functional is going to be. Seems like it's going to be pretty important. Functional storage is going to be pretty great. But don't we have uh storage? Well, so it's sophisticated storage. This is very powerful as well. Depending on how the upgrades, how expensive they are. Oh, did they remove the hopping upgrades or they just don't exist in this version? Interesting. Hey, Buzz. Pepper. <laughs> I was like, hey, Buzz. Hey, Pepper. <laughs> what are you sighing for? <laughs> What's the tears for, Buzz? So no uh, limited barrels uh, and upgrades removed. Okay, interesting. I'm, I'm interested by... I was wondering what the two different, like, upgrades we have, the possibilities for upgrades are. It's customized. Okay, okay, okay. So it's it's interesting that we have we don't have the hopping upgrades for the barrels, but we do have we do have the pullers and pusher upgrades for the drawers. Interesting choice. Is it because of the filterability? Probably. Probably because of the filter possibilities. Because they, they're pretty powerful. I like, I like the, the filtering ability. Whereas these are more for very specific items inside of a singular drawer. And you're working with like one particular item. These are great for that as that is your filter. Whereas with the functional, I just played around with it. And the filters... For the hopper are pretty cool because you can with the advanced filter you can literally filter your inputs and your outputs so maybe that's why i don't know they want you to use all create stuff right here i am questioning the mod pack i don't know why i do that i have no i should just be playing it i think too much jet 
I think too freaking much. I don't know why. Oh my god, how did I just nearly die? There you go. I hate the elytra, man. I mean, basic hopper upgrade doesn't have any filters. Um, but again, barrels itself can have memorized slots. Let me use this filter as well. Yeah, actually, Pepper, you should check out today's video that I put out, or at least like mid video, and look at the interesting way that I used. I used um, the the barrels to allow me to export and input into the same barrel with mechanism. And so I'm using it to make sure and void substrate, but not void my other material that's in the, the, the container. So that was another cool thing that I was like, okay, this is, I want to use this instead of a, a normal storage or a storage drawer. Um, in that particular use case, the storage drawer or the, the barrel was um, more effective because instead of voiding both materials that would have been in a double drawer, I was able to use that and only void the one material that I wanted to void, allowing the other material to continue to build up so it would shut the other machines off whenever it hit maximum. So I was like, that's perfect. And then I was also able to input and output from the same side and filter the thing that I only wanted to output so that way I wasn't sending substrate back up into my machine and it worked out flawlessly. Perfect. I was able to use a single and make it super tight and modular with that setup. So that was really, really nice. All right, Spooter. Hey, get wrecked. They don't take, I thought spiders didn't take fall damage. Boy, I was wrong. This spell's kind of powerful. Uh, yes, Reliquary's in here. Wait, you streamed on Twitch on Friday? Yeah, I did. I streamed twice. I streamed twice on Friday. I know I'm a madman. <laughs> I'm an absolute madman. Can I get a puppy? You got a puppy. CV. Look at you, you got a puppos. Fortunately, that puppos, I don't know where I can take it. So, did I put my saw in here? Uh, Jat, where did I put my saw? Please tell me I didn't leave my saw somewhere. Pepper, thank you so much for the 200 bits. This stream seems to be pretty quiet so far. It, it's because I disabled the mob spawning for today. From, from bits only. The notifications still play, but the, the mobs don't spawn. Someone's scared? I'm not scared, okay? I'm not scared. I, I feel like I ripped, I lost my saw. I'm actually kind of sad right now. Um. Like no joke chat, where is my saw? We're gonna have to make another one, aren't we? Oh man, at least I collected the wood. All right, let's see. We've already, we've already been to that one. Um, Arcane Temple. Wait, there's actually a temple? Oh, it says not found. Okay. I bet that's in a different dimension. Ars Tower Sky. Okay, that's not here either.
Um, why my message chosen doesn't saw? Doesn't see. What do you mean? You should get a magnet just in case it happens. I do have a magnet. It's where that mineral tree was. Okay, so let's let's go to where that waystone. We can go ahead and grab it back. I don't remember where that was at though. It should show on the mini map. It's over here. Ooh, let's loot this real quick though. I don't want to grab these or bubble columns. Fortunately, we don't get soul sand from here, though, but we can probably go to the nether. Yeah, we could definitely go to the nether. <laughs> Rip the try then. I know I told I, I, this is what I said earlier. I said I'm probably shooting myself in the foot. You know, by doing that, but like. I might I might turn them back on later here in a little bit. I just temporarily wanted to get us get our storage set up and move our base and then I'll turn everything back on. Currently on a five stream streak. Holy smokes. Prideful lion, dude. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's some consistency right there. That is some consistency. All right, where's this thing at? I, I swear I just seen it. Oh, it's right here. How's the progress? I wouldn't expect any sort of major progress. Um, It's over here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's just, we might as well consider this a loss. It's in the water. Is it in the water? No way I tossed it in the water. No. I don't remember where it was at. What did we lose? Apparently I lost my saw. Cause I'm a, I'm a dingus. I'm a dork. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I... <gasps> Wait, but it is a big deal if I also lost my starbuncle wheel. Okay. No, we've got to locate this thing. We left it in this general area because... It was on the outer edge because we... We farmed up a tree. Oh, man. It was a mineral tree that we just was farming. And I got distracted. No. Yeah, we were farming a mineral tree that was like on the edge over here. Oh no. Maybe somebody's able to see in the VOD. Can we do some VOD hacks chat? And somebody show the coordinates, type, put the coordinates in chat. Come on, come on chat, come on chat. 
You guys are so good at that. Oh, there's a there's a head right here. Does that mean we're close? Morning Chosen, big fan, watching your YouTube, glad to catch a stream for once, well, welcome. I'm glad you got you caught a stream as well. He's a sneaky boy. Oh no. What about the tree that's weirdly long? Look by the pot soil. Oh, text, text got my back. The text always freaking on it. Tech is always on it. All right, what was the chord? Eight. Mr. Nix, thank you so much. Your wheel is on my hot bar. on your hot bar. No, no, I have two. I have two. Maybe, oh, I, okay. So maybe it's just the saw. It was just the saw. Uh, negative seven. Negative eight. Seventy. It's just the saw that I was going to go grab. So I was close. It is over here somewhere. Um, yeah, it's gone. Okay. Uh, well, huh. Hmm. So long as we didn't lose a Starbuncle wheel, that's the only thing I was worried about. I can make another thing. The Starbuncle wheels though, I cannot make. And those, those are going to be pretty helpful, I think, early game. Starbuckle wheels can be found in the observatories. Yeah, they can be found in the Rs buildings. Oh my god, dude. This, my world is mostly ocean. Ooh, these are the big trees. These are the big oak trees. But I don't have my saw with me. Are these like specific saplings though? These are orchard saplings. Okay, orchard saplings. Be more of these. I don't know if you need like four to grow them. What's the Starbuckle will do? Uh, it allows me to, um, it allows me to get stress it from just a single block, like quite a bit of it. Instead of using like multiple water wheels. And it's also quite fast when you put a gold block in front of them. Okay, there's four. 
Because I don't have any trees back at my base, so it's going to be nice to have these. Yeah, it's like a create water wheel, but it's way more compact. There's a prairie. The the structures, the biomes in this are just nuts. But that's Terralith for you. Like, Terralith just has some ridiculous looking biomes. What are the oils used for? Is that just for pneumaticraft? Got to be for pneumaticraft, which is interesting because it pneumaticraft is such a such a tech tech mod, and it's in here. Like it's a super tech mod, I think. It can be very confusing. Okay, let's see. Um, we don't need a Starbuncle Shrine. Uh, that's ours elemental. Let's see. I think we've done all of them, right? The old factory stargazing. That's the one that's really nice. Uh, let me see. Is it going in the south? That would probably be another stargazing building. Oh, no, it's probably heading straight to the one we've already found. Okay. All right. Well, I think we have enough wood to sort of get started here. Sig, so you finally hit a stream. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Good to have you. All right. Let's make, sh make our way back. Make our way back to the base and start the work. Start the work of storage. Like regular storage. Yep, that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing. Gonna start right here. Right here, chat. Thing is, is I don't know um at what level do I want to start the construction. That is the question. Are you playing as if it was hardcore? No. We have died like 70 times. I'm going to get some, uh, water to maybe help remove some of the grass. I don't want to use this wood as like the platform. I don't know how much stone I have. Actually, how how would this look together? Like, what's this gonna look like when we have like this is the floor, and like this, but stripped. You know what? That gives that gives us kind of come out of a factory like a factory vibe. Display my death count on a board? Oh my god. Probably should. The amount of times you guys have killed me. Alright, we need storages. How much... Let's see, barrels. How much have they really nerfed sophisticated storage? 
right? We have regular iron barrels. Okay, that's surrounded by iron. Not bad. Okay. We can always upgrade all of our chests. So for right now, I think I'm just going to make a bunch of chests. For now. Okay. And then we can head back. I, I need to figure out how high I want to raise this up. Because I think I want to have it a little raised off the ground. We need a water bucket. So I know there's a bucket in here somewhere. Probably not. Never mind. Thought there might be a bucket somewhere. Definitely wrong. Like your beard? Thank you. I've spent a mini millennia working on it. How did I just now collect a bucket of water? What is wrong with me? We've got nine hours in this so far and I've just not collected a bucket of water. I am a absolute goofball. It's a long term investment, yeah. I spent so many years working on this beard. So many years. Just over 200 points left for a pet. Hopefully it's a cool mob. I hope it's a bee. Bees would be really nice. Those are right. Well, it'll be your Twitch name. It's automatically your Twitch name. If it's a dog, he protect you. Oh my god, it's all slimes today. There's a bee. Yeah, we need to get into some vanilla enchanting. That'll be really nice. Having some sort of mob farm would be nice. I think there's just a lot of vanilla things that we need to do. You know, because the game is still essentially vanilla early on. How did that one thing of grass survive that? <laughs> All of you guys are now just now redeeming your pets. There's gotta be a tool. We can't, we, I don't think we can make the tinkers stuff yet for clearing grass, right? We make anything tinkers? We, we could probably make basic tinkers tools. I don't think they're super worth it though over the majority of vanilla stuff you can make.
what is it called? A sickle? How do you spell sickle? I don't know why I can't spell it. Scythe? A sickle. Maybe something we can make. Because I have a feeling that that's going to be a problem. Could you imagine just like walking through your backyard and then all of a sudden you're like a giant puddle of oil? Ooh, just a giant puddle of oil. Hmm. Interesting. Imagine clearing grass <laughs> using a bucket of water. True, true. Weird things that you do in Minecraft. I'm trying to get, I'm getting an idea, I think, of how I sort of want this to work. Um, we should definitely build, I'm thinking, at at least this level here. Level with the grass. Should plant some more saplings? Yeah, I should. Well, we have, we have bone mills, I'm not worried about it. We'll plant them after we get more of this built out. Because I still have to craft some more things, but I want to get my storage set up first. I'm going to get some semblance of a storage. The bad part is, is I don't have a good way... Speaking of storage, I don't have a good way of, like, crafting items. We have to pull everything out of a storage. And they, they do give you some options. Um, they mention it in the beginning. That, hey, uh, storage can be done with create and using tinkers. However, in my experience, that's freaking awful. Uh, using a crafting station and the vault, unfortunately, it, it's so bad because you can't access the vault's inventory. So you can't sort what's in there. Um, and then the crafting station doesn't have a search feature. So you can't search for items. If you could search for items, that would be great, but you can't search for items. So you end up just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Um, so this is a super, super temporary solution. However, it could work with maybe a large barrel um, that you have set up maybe from functional storage or sophisticated storage, not functional. So I don't know, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, let's find our central point. It is right here, right? One, two. I think I want to be level with this, right? Yeah, I want to be level with that. This is where our storage is going to go. One, two, three. So for right now, we have three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. This is kind of a sick looking wood, though. This wood is awesome. I 
Last time you played this pack was in 017, and now it's in 193. Yeah, pretty full. Apparently, there's some things that were added. A lot of nice niceties to this pack. Is gonna be the basis of our like storage compound. Because I think that's the that's gonna be a big thing early game. We're gonna we're gonna need our storage sorted ASAP because without it, we're gonna struggle. We're gonna struggle so hard. What about the Ars Nouveau storage lectern? I don't think the storage lectern exists in this version. This is an older version of Create. Even the uh the gear is older. It's a uh, it's legacy gear. So this is all, this is stuck in the, an older version of Ars Nouveau, unfortunately. All right, everything looks good, right? This looks symmetrical, yes. Okay, I think what I want to do uh, I need to figure out how I want to lay out the chests. Um, I think I want them right here. All right, so I have this. All right. Um, probably should scoot this over a little bit, actually. Yeah, there we go. So we'll end up doing that. Trying to think things through here. Um, yet again, me overthinking things. Thinking, thinking. I need a one, I need a three block gap at least. Uh, one, two, three, three block gap. There's three blocks. There's three blocks, four blocks, four blocks. So that's five containers of storage, five containers of storage. You should add water underneath the base. Why? That would make it harder to put anything under there, wouldn't it? I'm not going to have any smelting happening here. Oh, that's another thing we have to worry about. Like getting stone early game. We'll have to get a cobble gin set up as soon as we can. We don't want to build our entirety of our base out of wood. That's a very bad idea. Thought it would look nice for ambience. Interesting. Well, this will all be covered up eventually. Because that's why I decided to put my base here. So it's all flat. So we have room to create our factory. Think of this um, more like how... Think of it more like how satisfactory would look. That's how I want to go with this. I want this to have a very satisfactory vibe. One, two, three, four, five. Might end up clearing this. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this out. What series am I most proud of? Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, series I'm most proud of. This is a tough one. Um, I mean, my favorite, that's easy. That's stone block too. That one's, that one's pretty easy. But as far as the series that I'm most proud of, like, um, all the mods six to the sky was fantastic, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm like struck between two different, two different ones, right? There's that, but I'm also like, I'm like kind of struck between that and um create above and beyond and then there's also um uh sevtech ages to the sky like i feel like i i really enjoyed those packs but here's the thing it's like every pack that i play i learn new things and i get way better at the things that i'm doing in the in the playthroughs so right now currently in all the mods 9 I'm going to say that's probably going to end up being one of my favorites. Um, just because of the thing that I have planned to build that I am going to build. Right. And the theme I'm going with and using the block palette I'm using. All of those things combined, I think are going to really add to it. Vault Hunters was also, I feel really proud of, even though I, I didn't 100% complete that. But I did complete Vault Hunters on the SMP that I'm really proud of. Um, that I am. Pretty more points until you can spawn a pet. Yeah, I think this will work great for our early storage. We have wands. We do. That'll be helpful. Do we have building gadgets? Just once. I'm okay with that. Honestly, you should add a pet system to the survival game you're working on. There are some cool mods right now for like pets and, and how they integrate into the game. I like mods that like, even though they're cosmetic, I like little mods that like add these cosmetic pets that don't really do anything, but maybe like float next to you, you know, or something like that, or they follow you and they can't die and stuff like that. I like little things like that, you know? I'm a sucker for those kind of things.
What about a Jeb sheep? A good old Jeb sheep. That's the upside down one, right? I like the rainbow one. Or is the Jeb the rainbow one? Dinner bones upside down. Jeb's rainbow. Watch out for the creep. Not joking. Yeah, there's a creeper right in front of me. We should definitely sleep. We should definitely claim our area too. Now we shouldn't have to worry as much about the creeps. What's the bark used for? Mulch. Let's get some more chests in here. I don't think we have enough stuff for item frames right now, but item frames will be something that I definitely want to kind of put on here so we know what's what, or maybe I can use some signs, I don't know. Storage management early game in this pack is going to be essential. It's not too hard to make a good looking little mini storage like this, right chat? This ain't too bad. Uh, the hard part's gonna be getting all of our stuff moved over. Um, did you see Tangle Tech's factory when they briefly played Create? I'd seen a little bit of it. Actually, the Cobble Gin, uh, I ended up using, I think, Tango's Cobble Gin when I played Create Above and Beyond. Um, I think I had used that Cobble Gin that Tango made. That was pretty sick. It was incredibly broke. It was definitely using what I would deem to be like a semi-broken mechanic, <laughs> right? But, you know, that's the magic of create. You can do whatever you want. It, it's definitely, there's, but there's also other cool things that I've also figured out along the way that I use, like, for example, when I was playing, um, what mod pack was it? Um, it was a heavy adventure pack. I can just look it up here. Do, 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 do. Dawncraft, right? When I was playing Dawncraft, I used a very broken mechanic where you could place down a massive contraption and it would clear out the entire area based on the size of the contraption. Um, and so, yeah, that was really good. That was really good. Um, let's... We make maple signs. Maybe we should make oak signs. Infested stone farms are overpowered for XP. Infested stone farms. Can you make inf Oh yeah, you can make infested stones with haunting, can't you? Ah, that's right. So you could you could create a setup that essentially spawns in 
Oh, that's interesting. I never thought of, I never thought about that. Huh. I'm not. I never thought about that. Yeah, it's a basic cobble farm with infested stone. Yeah, that sounds really easy to set up and powerful. Wow. I'm like, like as soon as you mention it, I'm like envisioning it in my head, right? Because that's just me. Um, am I missing something? Let's see. We have wood, create, magic, stone, mob drops. Plants. Um, so we have plants, utility, such as like tools, and then the goods. Okay. I think food, food, um, we could, it's plant slash food. Yeah, valuables is the goods. So I don't think I, I don't know if I have any glow material, but cool thing is, is I can just walk in here and I can auto sort everything. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's so easy now. As soon as we get things sorted going from there will be a lot nicer. So like utility, like this will be easy to understand. Um. Yeah, like this, for example, this is all utility stuff. Oh, how life will be nice. Life will be dream. Um, we should probably not put saplings in there. Just keep the wood to the wood. The plants to the plants. Mob drops to the mob drops. Right? Okay. Oh, I noticed this has an upgrade slot. Wait, both of these have an upgrade slot, but this one doesn't? When playing without shaders, definitely going to turn off true darkness. Oh yeah, I have true darkness turned off. It's awful. I hate true darkness. I, I know some people love it, but I do not enjoy it. I am not a partaker of the true, true darkness. I don't know how some people can even think of playing in that mode because I've been on, I've seen people's monitors that it's true darkness without that even turned on. The, the contrast on their monitor is so dark. It'd be awful. Okay, player heads are going to get left in here for sure. This is such pain. This is pain, but we'll make it. We'll get through this. It, you know what? You know what I could potentially do?
What's the, what's it cost to upgrade these to basic? Redstone. I don't have. I don't. I don't have a lot of redstone. I do have some redstone though. So actually, making packing tape, paper, lime ball. I think I need more of this. This might honestly be the best way to do this. This is empty, right? Yeah. Okay, so I need a couple more. What was I missing? I was just missing sticks. Okay, so I just need wood. Yeah, tape only has like four durability. Yep. Hey, it's better than nothing, though. This is a game changer. Had it spot on. Yeah, I thought it was four as well. <laughs> That's rare. So now we can just bring it back and we can just sort them there. Yeah, that'll be a lot easier. Otherwise, this was going to be an absolute nightmare. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Can you rename heads? Uh, you don't know what your pet was? Did you summon it here or over there? Oh, no. If it's over there, it's gonna forever be over there. Okay. We'll go back and forth to that village, though. It'll always stay in the world. So long as it doesn't get killed by something. Okay. I need my sleeping bag. You should rush a 9x3 uh, item vault with integrated dynamic storage. So, when you say rush integrated dynamic storage, does that mean that we need to, we need to do the end, right? Because... From what I know, the only way to get to the integrated dynamic screen is by just rushing to get this machine, which can potentially be found as loot inside of the end dungeons, the end parts of the world, right? I think I remember people talking about that on the supporter server whenever we had this available a while ago, and that was 
how they all ended up getting their storage early on. I'm almost positive. Right? Am I wrong, chat? I have no idea. I mentioned it, chat goes silent. There is a lot of progression. I would love an item vault. Yes, I would, but that's not going to happen right now. Gravitas 2 just released? Awesome. That's the, uh, that pack is, um, Greg Tech, isn't it? Like a heavy Greg Tech pack? Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were hyped and excited for that pack, though. So it'll be pretty good to see. I'll definitely take a look, a look-see. Um... I think it's a pack that makes all the mods harder. That seems understandable. Modern industrialization. Wood, wood, wood. Let's just get all the wood items out of all of the chests. Wood. No wood. No more wood. No wood. I know I'm going to be blind and look for a lot of these things. We don't have our search feature, do we? Greg Tech is advertised by people who hate suffering a lot. That's the funniest thing I've heard about the Greg Tech place. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny right there. That is funny right there. I'll have to tell Talon that. <laughs> Oh god. Let's do mob drops. Um, mob drops, mob drops, mob drops. Mob drops, mob drops, mob drops, mob drops. Mob drops. Mob drops. All the mob drops. We're gonna be overflowing with mob drops. This is all plant stuff. I can go ahead and actually move that. Greg Tech feels like playing Escape from Tarkov. It feels like you're getting punched. I, I've never played Tarkov, so I don't, I can't vouch for that because I don't, I don't know anything about that game. 
don't know anything about that, unfortunately. <clears throat> be under the magic section it's a utility item more plant stuff actually a lot of plant stuff in here soul beads i i don't know what i should consider crystallized mineral chunks chat i i've i've watched some tarkov but i don't know a lot about tarkov there that's probably better explaining myself there I know of it, but never played it for myself, so my experience is limited. I had a I had a hard time with games like that. Even playing like Fortnite, for example, I had a hard time with it. Because it causes me anxiety. I don't know why. But I get wrecked with anxiety on that. Do viewer drops get their own chests? Well, the bones and stuff go in the mob drops. I'm going to put it with the... You want to put it in the utility. I'm going to put it in the goods. That's a good. You put the with the trees and saplings with the plants. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Gonna, no, you know what? I'm actually gonna put it in the goods, because this is an important that's an important thing for crafting. These all have to be undone, which we'll get eventually. in the blocks. Almost got this side cleared out. Bone meal I'm going to put with the plant stuff. I swear, chat, though, this is the hardest part initially is just sorting through all of the junk that you've acquired. And we've only, this is only like from a few hours of acquiring junk. But by God, does it add up, doesn't it? Thankfully, the majority of this is all create-related items. You like how sophisticated storage makes it easy to label your chests? I would be switching to sophisticated. Maybe that's something we'll do later on. If if we even need to do that. I feel like that's going to be the thing is getting into integrated dynamics. Like we'll be in those chests for a long time, I feel. There's utility. I don't know what to do with these heads. Can't do anything with the heads, right? No. You're level 40 in, in what, Vault Hunters? And you're using vanilla chests? You monster. You're not the only one, though. I've... What is it, H-Bomb? Used them for quite a while. Vanilla chests in the playthrough. I think a lot of people are, are kind of scared to get into mods, any of the storage mods and stuff, because they are kind of tedious and they, they do take a little bit of time to get into. Oh yeah, H-Bomb used them until he paid Zine to fix it IRC, yeah. It makes sense. I don't know what snow is. 
It's a mob drop. <laughs> Snow's a mob drop. It's snowing where you're at? Oh, don't focus. No. Oh. I wish it was snowing here. Also, levels in Vault Hunters are now really fast. I was able to level... I was able to be at level 20 after four vaults. And I don't consider myself a great player. That's what I thought, Pepper. I seen some people playing it and I was like... I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I know with our latest playthrough, like I was at level 60 in a blink of an eye. But I'm like, that's three times. But just imagining it, I'm like, dang, leveling would be so much faster compared to what it was at the start of the SMP because it was very slow. It was a very slow grind for us. But it, things have gotten a lot better, which is really, really good. I, I would consider it better. I feel like being rewarded uh, is always a good thing. And feeling rewarded will keep people engaged and wanting to play more and more and more. Need that. That actually needs to come out. That comes out. Okay, never mind. I'm sending the wrong items in here, ain't I? Can bones be compressed? Okay, no. There's bone armor. Skeleton charm fragment. They were used to make skeleton spawners. Wait, they allow you to make the spawn ship fragments? Can't complain there. You're actually now running plunder pearls up because you don't you don't want to level up. Hmm. Yeah, but in in like our little playthrough that we were doing um, with Barry and them, like it's it's rough because all the vaults are locked. Outside of that, I don't think it's I don't think the vaults are too bad. I'm having a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun when I play Vault Hunters. I haven't played around with the new plunder stuff, so. All right, that's cleared out. Uh, I'll call this is magic, magic. These books are enchanted books are utility. This is all utility. Oh, logistical cores. These are like I'm gonna call that utility. Random utility items. This is magic. Spawner scraps. Utility. 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 Books are all utility. Oh, I just put them back in. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Utility. So much work. This is mind numbing. Hey, we ended up getting that though. That's a block. I'm sure we'll have to use later on. The pneumaticraft security upgrades utility. The pipe is utility. Plunder's just more loot. That all sounds really fun, though. I have not done it yet. Ooh, chat, forgive me. Holy crap, I just looked at the time. We've been live for two hours? What in the world? Have I been having that much fun? And I've already forgotten what's going on here? Sorry, I got a refill on coffee. Good old coffee.
Hmm. You gonna give fall hunters a try again one day? Yeah. Why not, right? How I feel right now. I wish it took on your skin. <clears throat> your in-game skin. <clears throat> I wish this went into a charm slot. It doesn't, though. For whatever reason, it doesn't go into a charm slot. I can leave the in rods in here. It's like weird, but that's utility. Utility, lots of utility stuff. Let you change the books over here. Okay, utility, utility. Utility, utility, utility. Create. All the create stuffs and things. That's utility. Uh, you played the first one and it was fun, but I like fell out of it. Well, I, I think then this one, this version, uh, season three is totally different. And I feel like it, um, the vaults are a little bit more easy. They're easier to understand, I think. Whereas before it was super random. Everything was sort of sprawled everywhere. Super duper random. I think it's a lot better now than it was in season two. However, the things I do miss um, was the integration of the mods inside the vault, where, for example, um, you had your charms that you unlocked from the mods, and that granted you abilities in the vaults. Now the abilities are set towards like skills that you have, which isn't horrible. It's just I did, I, I personally, because I love mod stuff, I liked it whenever the more knowledge you had about the mod you were getting into, the better off you were going to be in the vault. I liked that. I really did. I think this is going to be utility. You've only killed eight cows so far and you've got an everlasting beef. Wait, you can get everlasting beef as a cow kill drop? Really? Does that drop from an ant from the mob? What? That's kind of nice, even though, I mean, it's not the best food source, but it's still good. Is there a... Um... Does the backpacks... Oh, they're not called... Oh, yeah, they're these things. Um, They're the slates. They've changed the texture. Um, Feeding slate. How expensive are the, is the feeding slate? Same recipe. Feeding slate. And that requires... That requires a polished dark stone. And then runic tablets. We have six. Ooh. We have the ability to make that.
All right, we've almost got all of our chests sorted through here. Yeah, making the feeding upgrade would be amazing. Cobwebs. What what would cobwebs be? I don't. I'm gonna put it with the mob stuff just because I'll I think spiders when I think of that. So my brain goes put it there. Ooh, look at us unlocking everything. Chosen died a lot. Yeah, cobwebs are animal protein. So I should put it in the food. That's what you're saying, Freeful. We should eat it. We should eat the cobwebs. That's what I got from that. That's what I got out of that. Now I can download all world downloads before it expires. Yeah, go for it. Good luck. Some of them are large. Get them all while you can. I wonder if Google Drive has a limit to how many, like how many gigs worth of data people can download from your Google Drive. I don't know. Utility. Chosen is today a build in progress stream or an exploring stream. It's a build slash sorting our inventory stream slash possibly more exploring uh, everything, really. A little bit of everything. I don't know if there is, but there's a limit of 15 gigs that you can have unless you pay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of annoying. Well, things aren't free. Like, nothing's free. Storage isn't free. I pay quite a bit to get access to the... I have a terabyte, a terabyte worth of storage through Google Drive that I use for world downloads and files. Very convenient for me when I do a lot of work online on the internet, so. For me, it's super useful. But I also use physical storage as well. Like, I, I also dump like video files onto physical storage. Um, why does the mod pack give you an antique atlas anyways? I bet that they wanted at first to not give you a map at all other than that map. I bet there was an idea at first to potentially not give you any kind of map like that. Like, like FTV maps. But then realized chunk loading was going to be very difficult to manage people and also spawn protection like protection for your base I bet that's possibly a reason through the dev cycle and it just got left in I don't know some people may want to use the atlas they can always do that Who knows? Okay. 
so now that I got that set up, um, hmm. yeah, probably an early iteration. It was just the Atlas. Yeah, I, I bet. Cause I mean, honestly, this is just FTB chunks. Like while it, it's not the greatest mapping mod in the world, it's, it's really doable. It's a very decent map. It's not like the most advanced thing in the world, but it's really decent. It gets the job done. Okay, we have two Heart of the Seas. That's a good. Goods. Yeah, we almost have everything sorted. What in the world? Wow. Look at that. I think that's everything we have from the other area. I think that's literally everything. Okay, that chest is empty. Oh, we have a lot of items here. Okay, I'm gonna grab these. That was like the original Atlas. Skulls we don't need. We don't really need the quest book either. Don't need that. I think we ended up putting like random stuff in random chests. Because we were in a, we were in panic mode early on. Okay. Woo. Feels good to have all that sorted. Yeah, I don't think we left anything else. Yeah, and I think there's just random stuff up here. Random junk. Okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> the head shrines. Yeah, there's a lot of heads. So many skulls. I didn't know what to do with them all. Found out that they can stack directly on top of each other and you could spiral with them. Yeah, I, I don't don't ask. Um, okay. Speaking of head shrines, I can go ahead and turn this back on now that we got this all sorted out. Need like a button to disable, do that real quick. I'm sure there's ways of doing that. We have a quicker way of killing the mobs now, though. All right, I should be able to hit the quick stack to nearby chests. That, for the most part, sorts not everything, but it sorts a lot of the stuff. Weird that it didn't try to sort into those, but okay. You could probably like a macro to do it. Mm, yeah, probably take a lot of time. Yeah, that would take a lot of time to set up a macro. 
That it would. Alright, we only need one of those, so we put that back in there. That's in there. Anvil. Utility. The wolves. Let's go ahead and tame these bad boys. There we go. There we go. Hello. So now we got our two good boys. Two good doggos. I think we have enough um, obsidian. I don't know where our obsidian went, but I know we had we had some. All right, I know, maybe I never took it out. We had obsidian though, initially. What am I gonna name them? I don't know yet. Like Leroy and, and Marvin? I don't have enough name tags for stuff like that yet. Name the red one Rusty. My, uh, my daughter really likes, uh, Lucky as a dog's name. There's that, too. We need a bed to set our spawn point. Yeah, I've opened up loot chests, yeah, and there's like 16 of them, yeah. I don't remember if it was in here. Did I just never grab them? Definitely grab them. And the other, there's another chest that had them too. Hmm. Now we have a quantum catcher, so getting an iron farm would not be a bad idea to set up. Right? We can easily set up a zombie farm. This is 118, though, isn't it? A quantum fetcher? No, a quantum catcher. The quantumist of the catchers. Briefful. Why the building looks so familiar? It was the same structure that Captain Sparkles used. Yeah, it was the same structure that Captain Sparkles used in um, uh, Vault Hunter Season 3, right? Yeah. Jordan's Castle. Was the double chest empty there? Uh, yeah, that has a, it has a head in it. Yeah, it is. Empty. Okay. So I guess we can go find the obsidian. Um, I don't know cork frogs can have sweaters. Oh, they can? Is that a new thing? So now that our spawn point is set. Also, there's a village not too far off, so this village has a waystone. I want to head to this castle over here and see if we can't potentially get that obsidian. I thought I grabbed it all. I did. Huh. Oh yeah, you can't pick up waste stones in this pack. Nope. 
Apparently you can craft them though later on. So that's a thing you can do. I think though it's best if you like have a waystone in your base or near it. Let's go and welcome in, dude. I love that Twitch has third place in bits donated this month. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that insane? That's straight up crazy, in my opinion. At least we know where some pumpkins are at. Thirty one K, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double back to the um the village real quick and I'm gonna do a quick search and see if Maybe I did put it in a chest somewhere and I just don't remember. Hey, okay, just did a quick Y search, not seeing anything. Because we even had an enchanting table. Okay, it's not showing any nearby chests. This didn't have anything in it. Maybe I I lost it somehow. I don't know. I didn't put it in these chests today. Unless it doesn't, does it, can it recognize, for example, books, right? Books. So it does work with these chests. I don't know how far this reaches. Okay, it doesn't reach that far. Oh, you gotta be like right up on it. Uh, maybe that's why. Uh, did you leave? You were lacking space at a point. Well, we needed a set. We needed space for what's going to be built in the future. Okay. Did you leave it? No, I didn't. I, I checked both of them. And I didn't see it in any of the chests. I don't think I would have given up obsidian. That seems like a crazy idea to give obsidian. I don't know, but we, I guess we can go with more adventuring. I don't mind doing that to find obsidian. Uh, it looks like we could go this direction. Um, or we can go north. We can go east or north. doesn't really matter. South seems like more oceans. This seems like more land. Um, we do need our explorer's compass, which we have. But yeah, we can go out this direction. And 
and go east? No, north? Wait, what? Make up your mind, Jen! I'm gonna follow my instincts. Yeah, I don't think any of these containers here are going to have anything that I need. However, that, that is where the waystone is. You know, I don't have a sword. Probably not a good, good thing. Well, I do have... I don't think that thing, that projectile thing works on the Enderman. Apparently there's where the Andesite Cave's at. There's where this structure's at. We need to go out far enough that our, um, our compass finds new land. This is calcite and diorite. How long is the stream? I normally stream until 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. You like the different colored spruce trees? Yeah, all of the different like colored blocks are really cool in this. I wonder why the chunks load in so slow. Yeah, this is single player. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the, yeah, I have that turned down. Just the chunks are just. Holy smokes, that's so much faster. You see how fast them chunks are loading in now? Woohoo! Right, never mind, they're not loading in much faster. Thought they were. I thought they were. You still playing Vault Hunters, Mr. Architect? Yeah, but I gotta give me a break from time to time. I, I can't, I'm not playing it every freaking day for the rest of my life. I'm taking breaks, taking breaks. Giving my brain some of that, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, peacefulness. Less stress. You know, I'm the most stressed when I'm inside of a darn vault. It causes me literal stress. I do get a rush from it though, which is also kind of addicting, which is what makes it so addicting. <laughs> Apparently, so. Apparently there's an R's tower this way. We definitely need to go towards R's towers. But people playing every day till the end of their lives is what Iskal's playing all along. Iskal's playing all along. Actually, the chunks do seem like they're loading in faster, though. With that slight change. This area looks really pretty. I gotta be careful when I land. This version has that bug where you can die to your elytra. Like, even by softly landing. Yes, another Oz Tower. May the loot be mine. 
More gold. Give it to me all. Give me the Starbuncle wheel. I gotta be careful too, falling through this area. I will use slow fall. We need both of these blocks. Look at this. Look at this little guy. There we go. We got another Starbuncle. More tools. More fantastic loot. That's what I want more of. Give me more of the end fibers. Like, that's probably the most powerful thing we can get out of this, aside from the Starbuncle wheels. Are the fibers. There's a full mage robe. All right, more Ars Nouveau stuff. Um, I'm not missing anything else throughout this building, right? Oh, took some damage there. Thought I still had my slow fall. Just a plain Jane enchanted book. I feel like there's supposed to be data there. That's definitely a bug. I don't know why they would just give you a enchanted book that has no data. Take the heart. Thank you for the heal. I, I wonder, is there anything else in this building that is worth taking? Like, what are these blocks? Steel, so this is just Dave's mod, okay. I think that happened because they removed enchantments. They removed enchantments. What do you mean they removed enchantments? This would be... Yeah, I think that's taken us... Yeah, back to that. Wow. These are far, few, and in between, aren't they? These aren't too far away, though. Oh, they removed certain enchantments. Interesting. I wonder what ones they removed. Have they have they updated since Captain Sparkles and uh and Zine and Pete were playing this? What do the three books do? This one gives slow fall. It launches. This one gives us uh, an a, attack spell that's really good. And this one literally is a, an elytra that launches me up and gives me an elytra flight. They updated because of them. I was wondering, did they, did they push an update when they were playing it? Almost fell to my death. I need bunny slippers. Old 
old gantry. Okay. The more stuff I have to work with, the easier the early game is going to be. I love how I haven't even started the game yet. I haven't even started the game yet. Technically, I need to get down there. But I want to do it the safe way. <laughs> Toasty with cheese. Toasty with cheese. My dude. Ow. That hurt me. There we go. <laughs> Get blown up. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Are those statues? Yeah, that was a statue. Sort of. Sort of a statue. Okay, so this one, I'm going to run out of inventory space for sure. How could you? I know. So bad. Bad to the bone. Bad. B -b 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 bad. There's not going to be a good way to get down here, is there? Okay. I'll just, uh, risk the biscuit. The water's kind of nice, though. Okay. Just got to get them all set off. Be another one right under here. I'll set that one off. And set that one off. Set that one off. Is that it? Is that all of them? I don't know if I collected the pipes in the tank from the last one. I did. That's it for my pick, though. Oh, no. I don't have more picks. I don't need this. I don't need this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like the fans. I'll take all of the create goodies. We can eat these. Don't need this, this. I'll take this, this, uh, this, 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 these for sure. The runes are really good. Um, the food we don't really need. Yep, that one was a chest that trap. Okay, take that. Another blank enchanted book. Okay, there's a lot more stuff that needs to be collected there. Okay, this we don't need. A doo doo, a doo doo, a doo doo. Doo doo. Any of the brass funnels is definitely going to be a game changer. Oh god, there's just so much create stuff in these. 
It's so worth grabbing these. I can't stress that enough. Look at all the gearboxes. Gearboxes alone. Okay, these we can eat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you not blow up after looking at those eyes? Uh, you just claim your area. That's like protect, like spawn, like for protection one on one. Yep, definitely worth doing. Do we really need soul beads? What are these used for? Oh, they're used to make this down the road. Ew. Okay. Do we really need runic chalk? I mean, uh, the used for? I don't know if we can use that. I'm gonna take this. I don't need the bowl. I don't need bone. Need those, don't need those. Smart observer is really nice to get. Don't need that. Don't need that. I want you. Um, and I think that's it. Can't really grab anything else here, unfortunately, because I kind of ruined that. My pick is broken, so up we go and out we go. Very nice. Back to the base! Oh, I could have used the wrench. Yeah, I could have. How many I different guess. packs are you playing currently? Rads Grizz 5000. Thank you so much for the 17 months. How many packs am I playing? I don't know. Here on Twitch? Um, Let's see. There's, uh, yeah, all of them. There's my pack that I've been playing every now and then for mostly testing purposes. Um, I'm playing Vault Hunters every now and then. And right now on stream, we're playing this. There was blue slime stuff. Um, Zorak says, uh, nice to catch the stream again. Well, welcome. Glad you were able to catch it as well. All right, we're making our way back. Let's sleep real quick. Ooh. Bro. Does Tinker still have the slime boots? So, not exactly. They are in here, but they are heavily gated. The slime sling still exists, but I think the best slime sling is the one that lets you teleport through walls, which is the purple slime sling. Um, they completely modified how everything like that works, unfortunately. 
Because I really like, like, the old slime boots. They were really nice. But with ours, you can set up pretty similar uh, a slime sling setup. With slimy boots. Or not slimy boots, with the slime spell. Which we won't be able to get into for a while, but... Still. So nice to be able to just dump the items like that. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. We can put that in there. Might as well. That there. Let's open this up. Hey, we got engineer's goggles for like free. Even though they go in the head slot. We will want those. Look how quick we can just like quick stack things though. That is so convenient. I wonder how much of this we have. We have 11 fibers. We already have boots. We have enough for pants. Almost enough for helmet. Almost enough for, well we could make a helmet. Or we make pants. Let's see. This gives six point and then two five. And this gives three. The pants is definitely the best option. We can go chest piece though, too. That's eight. That's the best. Perfect. Now we have an upgraded chest piece that's on the Archmage variant. Then I have a helmet in the chest. I do have regular novice. Um, these are all novice pieces of gear. This stuff is crazy to find. The end fiber, you usually have to go to the end to be able to do this. To make this gear. They do look similar. That's why the, the whole robes got changed in a an update with ours. Okay, quick stack. I love that that's like a mod that I wanted. And it's there. Is it because maybe they were finding, like, what, what enchants did they break that they got removed? <laughs> what did Sparkle and Zine and Pete, what did they break? To get in chance removed. Or was it even them? It just happened to happen at the same time. Okay, and then this bag. Okay. I think we have everything sort of ready to go. So at this point, we kind of just need to dive into create a little bit. Um, where did I put my Starbuncle wheels? Okay, so we have three of those. Yeah, we are going to need a new pick. Our fortune pick. I want to save that. All right, we should probably take a look at our chapters here and figure out exactly what we really need to get into. And so we, I guess we need to work our way towards making deployers. From the looks of it. Um, deployers are going to be one of the first things we need. That means an andesite machine. And brass hands. Which means we already need to make brass. Like right away. 
Um, are we expected to make brass via blaze burners? And then that method, or are we expected to make blast via sm seared smelting? It doesn't really hold our hand there. Well, we can't get into tinkers very much. Like, we can't make a smeltery controller, for example. Actually, I don't even know if we can make any of these things. I'm looking at it right here, but... Can you even make a, um, so no, you, you don't, you like the seared smeltery controller. We have to cast it out cause it's that version. Um, okay. Seared. That's all the same. Yeah, the seared melter needs a sealed machine. That's what I thought. I remember that being something that we couldn't get. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we cannot go that route. So I'm pretty sure like for brass, I have to go the, the standard route. Yeah. I'm so, Okay, it mentions it right here. Okay, here it is. So get a blaze from the nether. Alloy with create blaze is required. Probably easier and faster way to go. Runic tablet plus empty blaze burner equals a blaze burner. Hmm. Alloying through tinkers, no blaze is required. We can't, we can't do that. Why does it even suggest it? Okay, that leads us into all of these things. And then that is the machines. Oh, we get some, po we get some actual things from this. Okay, so it needs a fan. Mixer. And a basin. I don't know if we have a basin. We can make a basin though, real quick. Oh, is the oh, probably not make a basin. <laughs> I'm thinking vanilla. I've got all these recipes memorized. This is not how it works, is it? Oh, it is the vanilla recipe. I was just overdoing it. I was close. We're gonna make another saw. That's right, because our saw we broke. We lost a saw, chat. We didn't get it. We didn't get a saw, did we? To make another saw here soon. Um, and then but the press. Let's see. And I'm pretty sure we have a press. Yeah. And then we have funnels. Drill. We believe it or not have drills. Block of iron. Fan blade. A whisk. Very nice. Uh, deployers. I don't see any deployers. Okay. So good to know we have all of those things. We do need to make more saws, which we'll get into here momentarily. I think I'm going to take a break. The sealed things don't seem difficult to make. Oh my god. Um, they require the prior and they do require cured rubber. Um, it does take a little bit of setup in order to get them. Right? Because you're going to need to, I believe, do a mixer with resin, right? 
so, uh, press with resin to make the rubber. Um, and so you just need like a tree farm feeding that in. Not too bad. Get some more boxes with some more rewards. Okay. So we still need to go to the nether. I'm surprised my obsidian disappeared. <laughs> I'm so confused by that. We had so much obsidian. I mean, I can make a diamond pick and we can farm it manually. Really wanted to save that. Because we haven't really gone mining, so. Yeah, I think I think what we could do is we could just make ourselves. Or we could diamond tip, but we still don't have obsidian. Bad logged in and borrowed it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh no, I, I still, I swear I had, I know we had a bunch of it, but I don't remember ever using it. Yeah. Huh. Well. Cool. Okay. So, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be right back, and then we'll jump back in to some more of this fantastic crate pack, and we'll actually get some things done. Hopefully go to the nether, grab ourselves, and get, uh, grab ourselves a blaze. Hopefully we can find ourselves a place. Oh, God. Hopefully we can find ourselves a nice little uh, fortress. That would be fantastic. If not, we can locate it with the structure compass. And then, then we can really get started. Yeah, we can get started. All right, I will be right back. Maybe it's not actually gone. It's just, there's a, it's just our world is slightly broken right now. <laughs> um. The trap room is horrifying. Oh God, how did I avoid getting hit by that stupid spider? Up. The compass. And is it is it gonna be a good idea for us to like find a slime chunk as well to put this in? We probably don't have iron and redstone. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a problem. It's me. We added 100 bits to tag Josh's cheer. Bonus bits unlocked. We added 50 more bits. Really, this isn't going to be a bad idea. Alrighty, I'm back, and we're back and ready to jump into this. Get some water too, chosen hydrate. Um, yes, I, I got coffee and water. Oh my god, an ad break just started. What a horrible time. Okay, um, so we just need probably find more diamonds wait can we no we can't no we can probably diamond tip can we make tinkers gear already Yo, yo, yo! Hard, hard, <laughs> hard. Look. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the six mighty months with that prime. Or should I say Flarkindy? Flarkindy. Am I saying that right? Dis this is definitely, this is Disney, right? This is 100% the beast from Beauty and the Beast. That's your skin, right? One hundred percent. I see you ended up not basing at the viewer infested village. Well, I mean, everything's cleared out of there, but no, I we we set out like the village is right here, but I wanted enough space to expand out and also be close to the waystone we have over here and also close to our points of interest that are over there. Well, that's a good, good stuff here. The beast. The dangers in the Northwest. Yeah, the dangers up here. There's a lot of stuff. I don't even want to go over there. <laughs> when we first spawned in, that was me just getting completely annihilated. Okay. Um, is, is there anything for just this? Let me see. We have a normal crafting table, I think, with this on top. Makes a crafting station. Um. <clears throat> and then we have this, which is a tinker station. Tinker station. Um... And then a pattern. No. What is it called? There it is. Parts. Part builder. Two minute, 20 second ad or killer. Sorry. Don't really know what else to, to do there. goodness <laughs> start my own free streaming service yeah we're just completely unad supported i just pay for everything i think that would be a bad investment <laughs> pretty sure twitch is not even profitable is it pretty sure it's not could be wrong though Remember the username matches your Twitch name. Add a bikini to your skin before you resub. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so we have this. Um, a part builder. Let's put the parts in. We should be able to make a pickaxe off of this. Um, maybe even a scythe, uh, several tools possibly. There's a bow grip, bow limb. Um, let's see. We can make a basic ax. Definitely need tool bindings. <laughs> Did they change in this pack? Um, I wonder if they changed like tipping things with diamond. 
Is that a thing you can still do? Okay, good. Yeah, you can. We get a little bit of cobblestone here. What tool do I even want to make? We can make a comma, an axe, we need an axe, and maybe a sword. Comma's just a sword stick. So we need a sword, axe, and pick head. Sword, axe, and pick. Actually, sword, axe, pick. We need more than that. We can do just a cool little handle. There's this thing, which is our shovel, technically. This is the shovel, isn't it? Yeah, the Maddox a shovel. Uh, it's an axe and a shovel. So we should just make that. This is a pickaxe spade. Okay. We need a regular pick. We need this and a comma. Couple of spare parts, I guess. That's fine. Um, small blade. Okay, we should be able to make the comma. All right, and this thing, and then this thing. All right, <clears throat> not too bad. It's gonna be slow and painful, but at least this only costs us one diamond. To do this. I need... Where do I put my comma at? No, where do I put my Paxel? I swear I'm losing my mind. There it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, we don't have enough cobble for repair kits. <laughs> I have it mined. I don't think stone works for repair kits, does it? That's an andesite repair kit. <laughs> no, I don't have enough. Should have made a man of andesite because I'm going to be using a lot of andesite. Okay, so now we need to find a lava pool. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to find that. We'll take a bucket of water. Lava, where's you at? Probably should look before I head off. There's a pool of lava somewhere nearby. So I thought... There's one by the four. 
Uh, what's your thoughts on making large tunneling machines and create for resources? I think it's it's perfectly reasonable to do that. I think it's 100% reasonable. Um, I've seen some really cool designs. There's many ways to tunnel, though. Um, you could just set up a tunnel bore that automatically does it for you and just keeps going. Those are best for setting train setups go, uh, up. I will be learning how to do those throughout this playthrough. I'm almost positive. Because I don't know how to do them. So I will be figuring that out. That will be fun. There are also some slightly less, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, favorable ways of doing it, I guess you can say, savory ways of doing it. Um, and that is you can just make a giant contraption and as soon as you activate it, it can clear out massive areas of blocks as well. I was heading in the right direction, but I guess oh, no, I am. Ow. The mana bar is blue. Why? I think they have it colored. Um, I think there's a way to change the color. Right? You need the book, though. It's toggle selection HUD. Too many mountains for chunks not loading fast enough. I know, right? I have the, um, the chunks set to load faster than they were earlier, though. That's, that's a good thing. At least they're, at least they load way faster than before. Probably the most aggressive way to kill a cow. This has got to be one of the most aggressive ways. Do I love the new All the Mod series? You're currently trying to automate the All the Mod star on All the Mods 8 so far. It's been very interesting. Looking forward to seeing your in game um let's see are you going to get into ad astra anytime soon i'm i'm sure ad astra is a is something you kind of have to get into the cool part about ad, ad astra at least in all the mods 8 when i played it i set up a base in space but there's a big problem with setting up a base in space is the oxygen is a pain and a lot of the mods don't work without that issue. Oh, was there lava below? There was lava? Where was lava? I need like a lava pool though. We're close. We're close to the lava pool. It was a pool. Okay, I'll look at it. I'll head back. There's probably lava under our base, but I haven't made a, a mine to get down there yet. Over here's where I was killing the cows.
going to point back to my marker and fly towards it. Oh! Boy, that's so hidden with... Oh my god, that is so... It looks just like the trees. Thank you. Didn't, didn't notice that. Too bad we don't have vein miner. We just need 10. Well, really, I'd prefer to have more so I can get at least some things enchanted would be nice. Oh my god, I just need to pay attention and focus on what I'm doing. The first quest gives the vein mine book, but that's only for tools. And, for example, early game, you don't have any t nice tools with mending on them. So I figured it'd be best to save that book, right? So I have some sort of tool with mending. And Tinkers has a vein mine tool. Can you show me a quest? What do you mean, show you a quest? <laughs> the, the marker made you think of Bohemian Rhapsody? Lava! Ooh, ooh. Oh. Didn't mean to pass you by! But I'm not good at looking. Cause I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. I feel so pedestrian I'm watching from a phone. Watching from the phone is hard. Especially when you want to type. Because for at least for Android, it shuts off. Like when you go to when you go to like type. No, not typing. If you go to like use voice commands or anything, it cuts off. I swear we had a ton of obsidian. How much obsidian? Okay, so we have 10 here. Let's put that in the bag. Um, enchanting table. It needs one, two, three, five. Patreon only album, please. <laughs> or I just parody Minecraft songs. I just parody popular songs with Minecraft. Somebody did uh, take my voice. I think it was, I think it was Talon that took my voice and put it through the AI thing. And it was able to sing the uh, Welcome to the Internet song. And then also sang the, um, the, what was it? The Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. It sounds just like me, which is kind of scary, actually. It's, it's really scary. It, it sounded just like me. You had 14 at one point. Yeah, that's what I, I thought I did, but when we just moved everything over, they're gone. I don't remember doing anything different. Hey, there's all we need. Yeah, you get a Patreon album of me singing. That'd be interesting. I'm sure that people would love that, right? I would need to take, like, classes in how to mix and how to actually record properly. 
that's something I've always wanted to do. I just don't, I, I, I don't know if I have the equipment, the proper equipment for, for that. As much as I would love doing that. Reminds me, you saw an AI cover of Plankton and SpongeBob singing. I just seen one that had Mr. Krabs singing and Patrick singing and they sounded phenomenal, man. It was good. It gave, gave me goosebumps. I'm like, this should not sound this good. Freaking SpongeBob singing. You could always help. You've been a producing engineer for over 20 years. That is crazy. Yeah, I, I have Ableton. Like, I have, like, the base version of Ableton. But, I mean, it and it works. I've used it before. But, outside of that. I mean, I got my piano. My MIDI piano. Which is fine. It's not amazing because it doesn't... I wish it had... Um, I wish it had, like, feedback. But what I really wish is I can record from the piano in my house. Because that one, I have a... Um, I have an actual a studio piano in the house. That I play and sing from, just... In, inside. I would just have to figure out how to hook it up and everything. It's a Yamaha. It's a CSP-170, I believe is what I have. Yeah, CSP-170. God, they've gone down in price. They were expensive when I bought it. Should have waited. Yeah, I, that was my first major musical instrument investment. <laughs> first major musical instrument investment was like a nice piano. I'm able to hook a mic up to it and everything and play sound through it. It's really nice. Okay. Um, now that we have that, we are about to go to the nether. Honestly, kind of scared. I don't remember how bad the nether is in this. Uh, need a proper recording interface? I think that's probably what I need. Like, you're talking like a, a Scarlet Solo or whatever they're called. Probably hook up to that. Set a laptop probably on top of the piano. Probably. Yeah. Like a hammer? Well, a hammer is not going to help me out too much, I don't think. Alright, I need a sword. Okay, so we need to take one of these diamonds. One of these books. Uh, we need... Some of that obsidian. Exactly just enough. Just enough. To make an enchanting table. I want to enchant my gear. And we should be able to make basic bookshelf only need 15 or 14 technically I'll make 15 okay
All right, so now we have that. A little bit of lapis, not a lot. Enchant the major pieces. Protection, I'll take that. Ooh, we need the levels. Okay, um... Should have a little bit to get the levels going here. These are full levels? Holy smokes. No way I'm gonna get this lucky. Section two. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's like, that's pretty decent protection on top of everything we already have. I'll take it 100%. <laughs> and we have our zap spell, which can kind of work. Um... Never have I ever thought to enchant an air. <laughs> Up in the sky, yeah, true. <clears throat> I don't know. I was like, I'll put it up. I'll put it right there. Make it like less ugly. This is still a pretty atrocious setup, don't get me wrong. Should probably go up one just to make it look a little nicer. Be taller, but. Okay, um, let's get these put aside. We won't need water because we can't use that. We need that. Take the quantum catcher. <clears throat> What are some other things that we should probably make? Um, we do have an upgrade slot in here. I almost want to use some of these runic tablets to make a feeding upgrade. You may start putting your enchants up in the air like that. See, you can also, like, from the middle, you can put, like, chains. Like, it looks like it's connected right to this. Alright, and then we have flint and steel that I definitely want to bring with me. That would be under utility, which I'm also missing flint and steel. Feels a bit odd that I don't have any of that. I feel like there's got to be a chest somewhere that is literally just missing everything. Like, there's a chest that just has everything in it. I don't know where to put this. Out of the way, probably, for now. Kate, welcome, welcome. 
Sophisticated storage control looks pretty easy to craft. Yeah, but we don't have anything to interface with it. I mean, we could maybe hook it into like a regular crafter. Maybe, but we still can't sort through every anything. You know? I have way more patience than Vanilla Chess. You would have installed something like Civil Storage Network by now. Yeah. I I thought about it. Um, one, two, three, four, two sticks. All right, let's get a couple of sticks. Um, some wood. What are you doing? Oh, I need more than one for it to go in my off end. Uh, 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 I just need one piece of flint, please. Thank you. This pack doesn't have the Twilight Forest? I don't think so. I don't think it does. Uh, how do you get the all the modium? Let's see, what was the question? I seen somebody had asked. Uh, yeah, the R's thing isn't in here, Bone Disturbed. Unfortunately. This is an older version. Look at the armor. This is an older version of, uh, R's. It was about all the months nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the modding you get in uh, the deep dark biome. My artifacts in here. We won't need that one. Um, the only other artifact that we'll probably... Well, we don't need an artifact for this per se. But... Where's it at? This will really help us. This. We need to keep this in our inventory. The obsidian skull. I'm pretty sure there's not a place to equip this. Apparently you can put it on your head. Okay. But just having that on us will work. Uh, the best way to find the ancient city, which you don't even need a mountain biome, just use a use a biome compass in all the mods nine. Use the uh, explorer's compass. It's easy to make, and then you can search for the deep dark, and then just find that biome and dig down. It's underground. It'll be in the bedrock layers. Okay. Anything else? I, am I gonna need? Am I gonna need anything for this? Um, let's see. We got that. Good. We're good. We got our flint and steel. We got this. We got this. Oh, we need to grab our blaze burner. Why did that let me light that? Let's not do that. I had a blaze burner. Okay. I know I had a blaze burner. Okay. 
We just need one for right now. We can make that, we'll make that stuff later on. Um, okay. That literally should be all we need. Uh, that, and we need a way to... We need a way... The... Need some building blocks, probably. Depending on where we spawn in. We need a way to set our point. Just finding a blaze. Yeah, bla I don't know if blazes just passively spawn outside of the fortress. We already need to locate a fortress. We should be able to do that with an explorer's compass. A couple of blocks. Okay. Be nice if we just spawned right in a fortress. Wouldn't that be great? Okay. We don't need torches. We don't need like crumbs to get back. We should be fine. All right. We get the portal lit. Let's go see if we get a very awful spawn or not. Why? Why always right on the edge? Okay, at least this isn't this isn't like super bad, but we definitely want to protect from this side. You want it? Wait, <laughs> was that a quest? That was a quest saying you want an infinite something. I didn't get to see what it all said. I think they made like uh, getting infinite netherrack incredibly difficult in this. If I remember correctly. We don't have anything gold on, I don't think. I don't think our gear counts. Is I going to add it where I'm at or just add it up at the top somewhere? Oh my god, I had it way up there. Why? Zero manager. Portal. Uh, well, at least I know the portal's down here somewhere. All right, do I see a fortress in my mini map? I do not. So let's go ahead and do fortress. Fortress search. 300 blocks this way, apparently. There's a lot of quartz right there. I am literally blind in this dimension. That was quick. Okay, Um. here's the fortress. All right. I hear a blaze. I do not see a blaze. No panic chosen. You just got this. You got this, dude. You got this. There's a blaze spawner. Eat a golden apple. All right. I'm definitely not fire resistant. Hey, we got a blaze rod. I thought that protected us from fire. I guess maybe just lava. Greeting, salutation, fellow crafters. Welcome in, smoking. Welcome, welcome. I should definitely take these guys on. Can you give me some magma cream, please? Please, can I have some magma cream? Please. Whoa! Hey, chill out, bro. Chill. 
I'm <laughs> right by all the lava. Alright, I just need magma cream. Give me give me some of your magma cream. Why do you got such a low drop rate? Why has it gotta be that way? Why? Why is her drop rate so low? Maybe, should we loot this fortress? What are you? The heck was that? You're not well versed with mods? I don't blame you. Whoa. Whoa. Look how fast you run on this stuff. New floor material, maybe? Hmm? It is so dark. But, look at that. And we got soul sand now. What did that say? That's something. Um, due to... What was that saying? It was saying due to something. Due to weakened something. I couldn't read it fast enough. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Oh, it gives you balls of gel. Interesting. There's what I want. Oop. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What? No way we just got a salamander eye from the first chest. What? Are these like super common items? Streamer luck? That's how I feel. But it's probably good that's making me feel that way, but I don't know if that's the case. Like, is this a common item to get or no? It puts out fires that are around me, everything. So dark, I can't see a thing, chat. It's so dark for me, too. Hey, hey, hey. All I have is this. Stop. 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 Our gear is actually pretty solid. Yeah, it puts out the fire. All right, we'll go right. Uh, that's the entrance. Okay. I feel like getting out of here won't be too difficult. Okay, that's a dead end. Oh, there's a chest. Open that. That almost got me. That almost got me, chat. Oh. That was almost an L. Woo. Reflexes. Oh my god. We got another huge backpack. More diamonds. Okay, this isn't too bad. Not too bad. We haven't gone this way. There's another chest. Oh my god, another huge backpack. That's huge. That's that's absolutely huge. Huge shit. What is that noise? That's horrifying.
So now we have a bunch of brass backpacks. Night vision goggles. That's totally what we need right now. Heck yeah. Options, controls, keybinds. Night vision, tab. Good. Okay, that doesn't work. Controls. No, no, cancel, keybinds, tab. Uh, integrated. Um, my vision. Okay, that's not working in this pack. Um, controls, keybinds, keys. Pneumaticraft armor upgrade toggles. Oh, does the artifacts in this version not have toggles? Artifacts doesn't have toggles in this. Another brass backpack. Wait, this one's radiant. This is 45 slots. Does it have any upgrade? It has an upgrade too. A shroomlin. Okay. Interesting. Oh, these are fast. Really good to travel on these. Okay, so fortresses are definitely nice to loot. But they're so cute. Why am I trying to kill them? They're adorable. And this is like an entire biome filled with quartz. Absolutely amazing. But I mean, that's really all we needed though. So we could probably hightail it out of here. I mean, just getting those backpacks alone is gonna be a lifesaver. We should probably grab some quartz, though. Not quite sure what I'm going to need it for yet, but... Are we... Do they... They don't... They don't mind us. I forget. Does this, uh, smelt into... No, one of these blocks do. Is it the raw quartz blocks? Okay, maybe not. It's just these. Why am I taking damage? Weird. Doesn't have you ever tried Gravitas? Oh, darn it. What? The portal fix mod is not in this pack.
Bones like uninstall. What? I mean, to be fair, there's some Stella. There's a bunch of diamond down here. Yeah, there was more diamond by the portal too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I should mine it right now or should use use my fortune pick on it. Probably definitely save that. Uh, Stella, want to mine either? I mean, I guess we needed a mine. I just didn't want to do it just yet. Should I start the mine going up this way? Probably. More Stella. Wow, Stellarite is quite prevalent. These are pretty powerful too. I do need redstone. And lapis. Looks like I'm close to my base. Yeah, I mean, it should have sent me back through the same portal that I went here in. I don't understand why it didn't do that. It put me underground in the negative 20s. Like, I'm way underground. Like I am in, I'm like super underground. And like the portals over here Right? It's not even in the same area. Now the portal's right here. There's my portal, and this is where it put me. What? Which kind of worries me, because don't we need to send trains through the nether? Cozen is so underground, he hasn't even heard of himself. Wow. What a joke. Good old vanilla mining I've tried a, I've tried avoiding uh mining so far in this pack I know mining's a big part of this pack but um so far we've just done exploring which has been it's paid off quite well actually what a bit of iron to be found in a lot of these loot chests This is limestone from clock. All right, we finally made it above Y level zero. Has somebody made a mining drill that like mines down and mine's a perfect tunnel like that, that can drop down one block every time like a stair stepping tunnel with create you could probably make a contraption that automatically does it after the ultimine can do that ultimine's not in here well i don't know if it is in here and just requires the enchant I don't know if it's old in mind that's doing that. Reaper of Crows, thank you for the follow, my dude. Oh, 
wouldn't be surprised if someone made Lua code for the turtles. I don't think CC's in here. No, we were looking at that the other day. Uh, this is pretty bare bones. Like, it's it's create at the start. Like, that's all you can do in here. All you need is three blocks tall and set it at an angle. We gotta be getting close. We're like 20 blocks from the surface, I think. It might have issues with lava. The interesting part, create, doesn't seem to care too much about lava. All right. About 10 blocks from the top be making our way out any time any time any day now and chat we are effectively four hours into today's stream and what have we gotten done um we're about to get brass i guess oh wow look at that we're, we spawned right underneath Right underneath the Starbuckle's booty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right under the Starbuckle's booty. We got our storage organized so far. Not bad. Yeah. At least we know. Starbuckle's butt is where our mine is at. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Lots of random bits everywhere. Random gear and stuff. We need some cats that are based to prevent the creepers from showing up. Hey, we got some uh, mechanisms from those. That's not bad. All right, mob drops, um, quartz and rotten flesh. And now we have so much random stuff in our bags that, um, we need to get those out. That's empty. That's got a bunch of random stuff in it. What is it? A Wixie shard? Hey, this might. Nope. Nope. Okay. Compressed iron chest piece, another shard, brass, that's a brass nugget. God man, the inventory sorting. This is definitely the challenge. This is, this is the, the early game boss, is the, the inventory management system. That is early game boss fight. Right there, right here. We are fighting all the demons right now, all the inventory demons. Horse berries, arrows, horse berries, 
No storage controller mod? Not yet. Not early on. Not early on. This is technically a plant. I'm going to toss it in there. Okay. So there's a blaze rod. Come on. We got to have containers, right? Okay. So you can go here. Runes is a utility. That goes there. Blocks. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Loads of storage though, but we did get our blaze burner. I'm missing something. Did it, did it auto sort my book? Did. How oh, dare it. Um, what have they done with the sophisticated controller? They, they have it. Um, yeah, it's in here. It's in here. Um, it looks like it requires some basic vanilla redstone and then the storage link. But here's the thing. The only thing that I think I can connect to it, Pepper, would be, um, this, the crafting station. And it doesn't have a way of, like, searching through an inventory. Unfortunately. Like, it'll work with an inventory, but it doesn't have a way of sorting through that inventory. Like, I can't search anything. Unfortunately. So that's the only downside with that. I don't think there's anything else in here I can get just yet. You can use it for quick deposit th for the hand. Well, I mean, true, I guess. Good right click. Hmm. Be pretty cool though if I could just click the. I think that requires a different upgrade. I think my gold backpack's better than the Radiant version. All right, uh, so we need to get brass set up uh, is what we need right now. So we have the blaze burner, and then we need a mixer. Um, We'll use... Nothing crazy. I don't think we need anything crazy. You guys with the sounds. Uh, Gearboxes. And then just a simple little setup here, and we should have this up and running. We need cogs, though. All right. For my early game, let's see if we can't make some stairs with this stuff. Hey, good, 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 good. Oop. I'm gonna pet you, Jason. Oh yeah. That's some good petting right there. Alright, we need this. This. Look at us go. Look at us go. We need a starry will. Get it. I could probably just do a large gearbox. Let's swap this up. Up. We'll use a large cog wheel. Do we have large cog wheels? We do. I 
That's a fast boy right there. Problem is, is I don't think I have any of the ingredients, um, technically, to make the brass. Uh, what does it cost to make brass? <clears throat> Zinc and copper smelted. We can get copper going? Um... <clears throat> Let's do this real quick. We can get another thing going. We're about to have brass. By the way, brass funnels, just because we have brass doesn't mean we can make them. Brass is just used... To make the handpiece. Um. I only have one nugget. Okay. Um. We can use regular filters. That's not a big deal. We do need some pieces of wool. I think we have, yeah, we have some wool, a couple of iron nuggets. I need two of them, though. Thankfully, we have these filters, because that would make things a little bit harder. Thankfully, we have brass funnels. For the early game stuff. Um, I would love to set this in here, but I know having lava in the base is a bad idea. So instead, we can set this out here somewhere. And what else do I want to use for this? Let's see. We'll just do two simple fans. Fan, fan. Um, trap door. So we need some sort of storage. These are both fine. Uh, I need my brass. And then a way to send it out, which we could just use regular funnels to send the items out. Let's just put a normal inventory in here. Okay, so this will be the inventory, inventories. All right, so what we're gonna have is input right here, output, that should work fine. Uh, we'll use andesite on the bottom of this, uh, and then we need to use our, oh, I've got, can I just right click this on here without it opening the inventory? There it goes. So that's going to send out and drop here, and then we'll have our brass funnels. They need to be rotated. I don't have my wrench on me. Shift for that to go in. Then we need to set up filters. Just for now, that will accept these few items. Things that are going to get smelted. I think that's it. Uh, well, no, we have tin, lead, silver, nickel. 
Electrum, Invar, Constantine. That should be it. That should be it. Um, with this particular filter, I can't. This is not an attributes filter, so I can't set like blacklist things that can't be smelted. Yeah, I can't make the attribute right now, so I'm stuck with this. What what are things that get washed? Uh, maybe we'll worry about that when we need to wash something. And this needs to be white list, allow list. Okay. Um. And I think I have a bucket of lava laying around somewhere. There's my water. There's my lava. Sand, gravel, and dust. Okay, um, water, you can go here. Lava, you can go here. Fun, fun, fun. Um, then to get this hooked up, we don't need this to be fast. This needs to work. That's pulling. That's sending. I think we have ca casings, right? We have gear. Yeah, we have chain drives. So with the chain drives, we can get this plugged in pretty quick. Pretty looking. Heavy duty, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate that. All right. Now we just got to find the stuff in the mine because we haven't mined for anything really yet. So that's going to be fun. We'll do that here in a second. Oh, I need this, this. How's my day? It's going pretty good so far. We're like just now tapping into to the create stuff, like just now tapping in. We're about to get deployers. You hear this mod pack's pretty difficult. Um, would you agree? Yes. If it's time consuming, it's definitely time consuming. Difficult, maybe no. If you just follow the steps, maybe by writing out the steps, uh, it wouldn't be too difficult to understand. And I think setting this up with the idea of expanding in mind, when you first start to set things up, I think it's uh, it'll be a little bit easier to grasp. Okay, with that being said, I do need to go to the mine. Let me grab my pick here. At least it's Fortune 1. That'll help me a little Tech bit. Tech Josh just gave out 45 subs. Tech! What the heck? What does that put you at with the gift subs? What does that put you at? I, there's a reason it was 45. 2,900 even. 2,900 even. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, my dude, for the 45 gift subs, man. So many gifts to the community. Hey, there's fire. Wait, fire was... Fire was dropping bits Friday. What? <laughs> oh my God, so many. I hope at least some of you guys got a gift sub out of that. Be sure, by the way, to, to say thanks if you did. Attack. 
<laughs> I love this spell. Why is this spell going to be so good? <laughs> it's so good. Super Josh, I also dodged. You guys, you guys rolled. That's what happened. You guys managed to get a roll. <laughs> Chosen is an evoker, confirmed. Shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell people. That is horrifying. That's horrifying. Will they walk into the lava? Of course they won't. I figured out how to use this, though. You, have, you actually have to aim it at them. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, Tech, my man. For not only just the 45 here, but almost up to 3,000 total gift subs to the channel. That is an insane number. Absolute insane number. Why are they not dying? What is going on? It's the magnet. It's the magnet. I mean, I guess I, I could put them in the head box. We, we kind of have a head box. It's not, it's not a lot though. Let's see. We can probably get them in the head box. Yeah, they're definitely not fitting in the head box. Oh my god. Well, they kind of fit in the head box. Somewhat. He's preparing for his next 100 to hit that 3k. I would put it past tech. Saturday. Welcome, welcome. I have a box of heads now. That's creepy. It is kind of creepy. Yeah. It is kind of creepy. I need torches, don't I? I don't have an R spell book yet that gives me light. We do have night vision, but that doesn't stop mobs from responding. All right, let's do a little off-camera mining, shall we, chat? I think this way is the best. Yeah, iron and gold. The giant cave. What's in my offhand? We just got the salamander's eye. It uh prevents um blazes from hitting us. It's kind of powerful. Pretty sure you just hit the ground. <laughs> you just slammed into the ground. I did get your head though. E.T., thank you, by the way, for the two months with that tier one sub. Welcome, welcome. Into the cave we go. Yeah, the light in here. This area totally needs to be lit up. Oh, there's some zinc right there. If 
artifacts is in here. That means we should find like the artifacts. Oh my god, look what we just found, a mine shaft. There's also a mine shaft down here. Hey, oh my god, that scared me. Dude, this witch is no joke. An absolute loser. That witch followed me all the way here. <laughs> what we got? What we got? We got the goods. We got the goods, chat. Okay, we put that in there, that in there. That's our pick. We need the torches. Um, What do we need out of here? I'll take the squid beak. I'll take these. The rails I'm not too worried about. The skillet, though. The skillet's not a bad weapon. Witch, please. I know, right? Dude, it's freaking... It was out to get me. Oh my god, that Enderman scared me. Alright, there's one of the places. Yeah, this gives you, like, knockback. <laughs> I love the pan. The pan's good. Look at, look at what I'm trying to get me right here. Look at that. Please have an artifact. No artifact. I'll take the iron, though. And the spider eyes. Rotten flesh. TNT. I'll take that. I'll take that. And... Might as well. You know what? I'm actually going to grab you real quick. Uh, that way I can kill you later. <laughs> In a more controlled manner. Also, was that a blast? Yeah, let's grab the blast furnace. We don't really need the blast furnace, I don't think, unless for crafting, maybe. Deep fry some opponents. Honestly, what we're doing right now, straight up. Poison's kind of scary. We can sickle it? Oh yeah, true. Oh, and it shears it. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, so... We don't really have the thing that we need just yet. We're gonna have to go through here. There we go. Let's mine out some of that. Oh, let's uh, switch picks. We, we can maybe get more than one. There we go. Hmm. There's more of the XP ore. Tons of copper. Ah, here we go. Here's another one. Yeah, let's go. We found a pot.
What do we get when we mine this? That's what I wanted to know. Okay, we got the ingot. Okay. Just gotta follow my picks going back. Be this way. I gotta get out of here. I just need to get back into the cave. Is arcane engineering family friendly? I, yeah. There's a mod pack. There's like nothing in here that I would say wouldn't be family friendly. Just Minecraft. I mean, we make the occasion, unless you're talking about the stream, like we make the occasional Yo Mama joke, you know? But aside from that, pretty much PG-13, you know? Which is the average age, like 13 and up is um, the age to be able to make an account on here. Not necessarily the viewing age, but... What happened to the Vault Hunter series? Did it die because of lack of collaboration? No. I haven't, uh, I haven't been able to play on it. Like, I want to play when people are playing, but nobody's posted when they're playing, aside from CPK. So, outside of that, I don't know when anyone's going to be playing. And I have, a, I have kind of a strict schedule that I have to unfortunately follow. So whenever they, if they're able to go live, when I go live, I'll definitely be playing it that day. I never know if this is going to be... Oh, we got kitty slippers! Oh, these are so powerful, these chests. We don't have any feet upgrades, do we? No, not yet. Yeah, whenever they end up going live and I'm able to be playing... These are so worth. So worth looting. Please inform us beforehand if you're going to stream twice. Rip my stream streak. I am sorry. I did announce everywhere whenever I did go live. Um, I decided in the evening that I was going to pop back in and stream again, so I did uh, Friday. Sorry about that. I did ping, though. I did let everybody know in the Discord, and I even posted on Twitter. I did not know until the evening if I was going to. That's what I'm talking about. It's difficult to win when it's solo. Uh, yeah, we're, when we're referring to Vault Hunters. Yeah. 
I think Barry and them farmed up some more gold. Uh, so at least if we did play solo, we have a little bit of a chance to last. I'm a little sucked into this though right now compared to that. If anything, at least I got everybody started, right? I got a area for everybody. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but... I got the notification to watch for five minutes and my wife got mad. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, 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 this stuff, this stuff right here. Mossy brick. Junk. I think there's a chance it can get us pretty much anything, any random item, right? Like, he can get us anything, right, from the pack? Oh, do they not have the overlays mod in this? Watch the creeper runs away. That's so nice. Yeah, that whole thing's full of coal blocks. The thing is kind of funny because coal doesn't serve a huge, huge purpose. Ooh, more random. Okay, column? Purple terracotta tiles. Not super lucky in that regard. This is ultimately going to be where our like our mega mine area is at, because we we're going to be farming that, and then there's another one that's down in here as well. So there's an iron one that's inside of this cave area. Yeah, and I have night vision. Yeah, I have night vision goggles. We got night vision goggles today, and we also got the creeper slippers. The only ones I would really like to have, though, is the uh, the ability to not take fall damage, so that I need the bunny slippers. That's the ones I really want. Bunny slippers are amazing with ours. Yeah, that would, it's just so nice. Bunny slippers would be very helpful. Okay, so we got new seeds, apparently. Let's see, pop. We have to walk into each area to be able to do the majority of this sorting. Can the entire blocks of raw be blasted? Oh no. This can be blasted, right? Ah, oh, but not the blocks. Seems like a little bit of a convenience oversight. 
Uh, and that's a bucket of suspicious stew. That's technically food. Alright, let's take this and this. And we need to drop this into our smelter real quick. Nope. Oh, gotta turn the magnet off. I don't think there's a toggle for these. That should... Be sending more than one at a time. Maybe I got to raise it up one, don't I? Oh, I need to raise them up. Okay. This got to go. These got to go one taller. Actually, let me put a block underneath it somehow. Yeah, we're we're gonna be making brass, but I gotta smelt these materials. And then we'll get our brass. Another thing, we could probably set glass on this filter. Okay, and then right click, right click. Now we can get to going because this will just dump everything. And that's what we want. Also, actually, let me take this out real quick so I don't accidentally suck these into the system. Okay, good. Go in the right direction. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. And you gotta have the filter because I believe in this version it'll end up breaking things. Which is unfortunate. Okay, we'll put the salamander eye in our backpack. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice! Now I can see my signs! I love how Chosen makes Create easy. I've learned so much. I mean, yeah, I try my best. I try my best. All right, uh, utility. I'm gonna call this magic. This is from Forbidden. This needs to go in here. We need to take all of this stuff out. Every time we go on an adventure, not being able to just simply have our items automatically sorted out. We'll get it's gonna get frustrating. Okay though. Like every mining session will end up we'll end up with a ton of stuff. Okay, um let me keep torches in here. Keep flint in here, this in here, but utility things in here, that in here. Sword can go in here for now. Sleeping bags, same inventory. Put these in here. These are X these are single XP levels. Mm 
Do I need raw iron in my bag? No, I do not. We actually need to take all the raw material we have and smelt it. Okay, now we should be able to make brass. Um, the coal. Let's see, we'll take some of the coal. And all we gotta do is go boop, boop. That's in there. And now we've made brass incredibly fast as well, because this is spinning insanely fast. I think that'll be enough brass for a while. <clears throat> um, now, we do need to start thinking about um, tree farms. I think. We definitely need to start thinking about tree farms. Eternal saw? 64 coin. That'd be kind of cool. That must be for the automation process. Making it a little easier. For the automation steps. Because this requires andesite alloy and then a saw. And then we need mineral slabs. So at least getting this started will be a good idea to at least have some sort of... Um, Assembly line for making these started. Right. Um, and then we can we can manually feed them. This only needs to be fed in one time, right? One time. Okay. Mineral slabs. You get six of them that way. You get two per, so it's easier to just craft them. So we can take what we have and craft, and that, that'd be pretty quick. <clears throat> yeah, we will get mineral staff. Like, I, I know how to automate the, the setup for it, which we'll, we'll get done. Before we know it, we'll have an infinite amount of these things. We have to make some barrels and stuff. Couldn't be too difficult to do. Just a conveyor line, and I know a little trick. Uh, believe it or not, I know a little trick that we can use to make sure saplings are filterable. It'd be pretty cool. Okay, um... So, in that, with, with that being said, we need to get a few more things here. We need our current saw. We need our current wood. And to make the these we need andesite so we need to upgrade this as soon as we can um okay brass what was it it's a deployer right so we need to make so yeah we need a few of these so we have to at least make this first set unfortunately this is um these all need to be stripped, don't they? So it's 16 per. So we need... I guess we could make a saw that does it for us? I have to, I have to remake a saw anyways. That's what sucks, because we have to actually make this to make a saw. Okay, um, so we have to do at least 16. regular axe because Tinkers doesn't work with this. Yeah, they have to be stripped, so I think an early game way of doing it is by just simply tossing it onto a saw which is not too bad to do and then we can pick up the saw as needed
goodness. That's gonna take a lot of andesite alloy. Thankfully, like, we should be able to make more of this. Yeah, it looks like we toss in mineral chunks. We get four. We'll have an infinite supply of these before we know it. All right, uh, we need this and we need a couple pieces of iron so we can make our own. Getting four, right? We need to make a smithing table. There we go. Perfect. Uh, then the brass. Uh, no, no, we're not doing that yet. We need the saw, right? So we need uh, copper and iron. Where you at, Starbuncle? I think by default this uh, will strip logs. Yes. That works. <laughs> Better than doing it by hand. Um, we could use hoppers for this too. Why not a shoot? Shoots don't have inventories. You're talking about using a shoot to drop the items in? Because shoots, shoots are kind of a pain. We also don't have a press set up just yet. I want to, but I want to have uh, some sort of a symbol. Maybe we can do like a press on like the corner over here. Um, all right, the wood back. Okay. <clears throat> so in order to get this up and running to make these a little bit faster, we need to take our anisite and it's going to make it go a little bit further. Let's see, does the saw, the saw strips this and then the saw turns it into how many planks? Six planks versus four planks. I'm not going to worry about that, though. That's more than enough. All right, we need to set up a small assembly line while that's working. Um, so we'll have some shafts. We're going to have ourselves this little guy that's going to run. And we have belts. Thank goodness. What else do we need? Nothing else, really. Yeah, it really should be it. So we just need a belt line. We're going to need some encased fans or case chain drives. That should be it. And yes, I'm going to call these temporary because I feel like they're definitely temporary. Yep, 
I'll go here. Oh, they don't connect like that? Ew. Oh, I guess they technically won't go on there at all like that. I love our iron sword. <laughs> What's the best way to get netherite in all the mods nine? I I literally show it in the video. I I showed it in the video. Give me just a second. One second. I'm back. Oh. May have just missed it. No, no, the whole video. Uh, like in the thumbnail, if you look at the All the Mods 9 playlist and look in the thumbnail, it's literally ancient debris. And the ancient debris is like, looks like the, it's being x-rayed in the thumbnail. That's the episode where I show how to get, find uh, netherite quick. Uh, but you, the, I think the, the fastest way would be to just use a, well, no, you need... No, yeah, no. The way that I show in that is the progression that you have to go through. Because uh, you have to get all the modium first. Or, sorry, no. You have to find netherite the hard way first. And then after you found it the hard way, then you can make a builder. And then once you have a builder, you're good to go. <laughs> Part of this grandpa said, Well, that's too dang bad. I remember my first builder, his name was Bob. Oh, thank you, chat. We gotta be so funny sometimes. We're gonna have enough. One, two, three, four. We're not gonna have enough. Oh, no. We can't, like, make a good vein. We can't make a hammer yet. Why does it, g it gives you another saw to make another one, doesn't it? problem we need more andesite alloy like quite a bit more of it um now the best way to make it is this way with andesite and some mineral chunks which we do have remember these mineral chunks i think that's the only thing we really need them for right now and i think we have a little bit of andesite Yeah, 
Yeah, this is definitely the way to get more. And can we make the squeezer? Yeah, I'll mark that. That's something we're going to need too. And also the drying basin. Okay, not bad either. Perfect. We're getting started, chat. We are really, we're getting, we're getting there. We are getting there. The speed of that mixer gives me stress for, <laughs> stress for some reason. I mean, it's definitely under some stress. That's, that's no lie. It is under some stress. You dropped out for a second. What are we making? That's why you don't drop out. <laughs> we're, uh, we're about to, we're ma trying to make deployers. Trying to make some, de our first set of deployers. So we can get our first main task semi-automated. Um, but it does require a lot of manual rafting here. Okay, is this enough? It's 32. Could be, we just need three. Yeah, there we go. Might as well get another one. All right, and then the deployer hands. Okay, so this is where we need the boink machine going. Boink time. Boink time, chat. Time to get our boinker going. Uh, depot gearbox we have so many gearboxes that we got from just loot so it's so nice Quench ya! Boop! <laughs> Thank you for the four months! Appreciate that. Boop! Welcome back. Welcome back to the crew. Jesus, how is that going so fast? Uh, you put a gold block in front of the Starbuckle wheel and it makes it go pretty fast. In, you can connect directly up to the mixer from a large cog and that gear ratios it up. So that's a quick way of setting that up quickly. Quick way of setting that up quickly. Yeah, I, I know how to talk. I can, I, I can the talks chat. This is not OSHA approved. Don't try this at home. Definitely not OSHA approved. But you know what? OSHA, they don't control me, right? Maybe they would if I was a construction worker. All right, maybe they would. Uh, this is not where my boinker needs to be. I need my boinker to be technically right here. So let's change this. We won't be able to successfully do our boinking if it's not in the correct boink location. We need our boinker to be here. Nope. Get off there. There we go. The boinker is now set. It's in the boink's location. Uh, 
And we do need to lower this down. I'm not wasting belts on that. Okay. That is powered. All right, so now we can make all of the things we need for this. So we need one, two, three, four, four each, uh, four. Okay. Well. Boink. We're boinking for science. Science rules. Isn't that nice? Look at us. Look at us. Perfect. We got just enough here, too. Look at us. Look at us go. Look at us being all fancy over here. Now, how do I want to set these up? That's also... Let's close that ground here. Look at that. Wait, does that actually generate stress? Oh, they tricked us. They tricked us. That, that's, they done tricked us. Darn it, <laughs> I've done been swindled. Chosen over here, boinking with a boinker, I am. We've done boink. Boinked a lot. Lots of boinking going on. Problem is we now need to get this set up. Uh, but we need to carry the, the signal over. It's usually best done like having these all in one single location. But this is going to be more challenging than I thought. I really wish there was better ways of making this look good. I think this is the best way. And then... I don't know where I put my wrench. It... Is it in my inventory? Am I... Am I that blind? How am I losing my items? Okay, it's in here. Is the tool belt? No, the tool belt mod's not in here. Bummer. Okay. Uh, let's get that out of here. Get out of here. Um, we can... Okay, that works. Then we just need to feed it the items in order uh, and then use funnels. Okay. We need andesite funnels. I think we have two of them. Come on, andesite funnels. Where are you at? Two of them. That's just enough. Wow, we looted just enough to get us to this point. 
Okay, so we got this set up. This is the base. Um, and then we can just hand feed the items in for now. Don't you have to loop them? No, not this, not this setup. No looping on this one. Nope, nope, nope. We're just making, we're just setting up a makeshift way of generating these kinetic mechanisms easier. Uh, cause it's way cheaper. It's like twice as cheap to do it this way. Uh, it costs four andesite alloy to do it the other way and costs way more wood. And is way more of a resource hog. So this should be pretty straightforward. Okay, um, also gold. One gold. Oop. And then I need to find the alloy again. It's, it's in here, isn't it? Or do we use it all? We use it all, didn't we? Yep, we're gonna we're gonna have to do some other stuff. For example, this right here will make 16 of these. So if I put that in there and I give it to it, then I say saw, give it the saw. Now I put these items in. Oh wait, is the saw last? Hold on. Stop. I put it, I put it in backwards, didn't I? There we go. Now we got it going. <laughs> and there we go. Kinetic mechanisms. What else do we need? Um, we've got to go through this. Oh my god. The reason we can't complete the quest because it doesn't have it it doesn't have them set to define as um like accepted so we need these 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 improbable saplings mineral logs that andesite andesite alloy There's the hats. Okay, there's all these quests complete. Uh, let's talk about a rejuvenated shrub. I think the rejuvenated shrub, right? It needs to go and be washed. This is not the best way to do this. Um... I will less at least let us complete the quest. Okay. We can get more create stuff. Why don't I click the collect all button? Because I like to sometimes see what the rewards are. Yeah, I like to see what the rewards are sometimes. Okay, um, mineral logs. And a site. <clears throat> oh. 
That's pretty straightforward, right? Now we have 36 kinetic mechanisms. Okay. Trying to think what else would we need? We could probably get the saw up and running on another corner off of the same starbuckle. Potentially, this might overstress it. Let's just see, can I hook this up to this setup on another corner? It's gonna overstress, okay. So this is definitely too much. So I will save this for something else. I can put this down here for now. There's going to be a lot of cleaning up and resetting things. I feel like that's going to... Is that going the right way? Nope. What did that just do? So now we can get our inventory cleaned up because we got all of that ready to go. We'll have this over here for now. Probably have a special place for those down the road. All right. Brass hand. Oh my gosh, you can get a deployer out of this. Okay. That's kind of nice that we got a deployer, though. We could probably set up then... Like a depot. And we could always have, like, casings. Yeah. Because we just got given a free deployer. Why not? Um... Oh yeah, how am I going to power that? I mean, I could probably set it up. Set it up where this lands here. Yeah, we can do this. Um, We don't really... Well, we will eventually need casings. Never mind. I'll just leave it the way it was. I was thinking about setting up a way to automatically make casings, but we have a ton of casings right now. Later on, we'll need to automate it, but I don't think it's imperative. I think my book. All right, so the only other thing that we would need to probably get set up is we need that tree farm. So now we need to automate mineral. We don't have a way of automating andesite just yet, but we might be able to get it. How do we make andesite? So we smelt gravel. Okay. And to get gravel, we simply put cobblestone in here. So just a cobble gin would be nice to get set up probably right now. Pretty sure we have a drill. We don't have a threshold or a stockpile switch or whatever it's called. There's a drill. 
trying to think what we should use to to generate enough stress for this. I mean, we just do multiple water wheels. Just use all the water wheels we have. Those are easy to set up now. Um. Okay, so drill. We're just gonna need water, lava, and there's. I guess use a hopper because. That seems logical. need lava. I'm so surprised you're not just like a lava filled like over here. <laughs> Are they so far away? Just need a massive dripstone farm. Is dripstone in this version? Okay. Hey, that whole section of the map is just gone. Okay. Nice. Nice. You just set up your mechanism lava pump system in the nether and all the mods nine. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I use create for the lava. Oh my God, there's just a free. Oh, that's just a free spawner. Look at that. Such intangible AOE pierce extend time. Isn't this, th isn't this for like, this is straight up for trapping mobs. <laughs> then it kills them. This is exactly what that's used for. Oh my God, another backpack. I'm so going to forget there's stuff in here. All right, Chad, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Back to find lava. That'll be so helpful when the raid domination mods come back with it. Oh yeah, that's true. You can just open the hole up and then just send them in there. He's only allowed to punch us to death. None of this black magic. There's a pool of lava. Yeah, right here. Oh, back up. It's not too far away. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Love new, love ours vote so good. Yes. It's like all of our like past, like all my past loves of, of mods like Thomcraft and like Tinker's Construct and all these things all kind of combine into one mod, which is kind of good. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I personally like it. I think it's really good. Okay, um, so cobble gin. One of the best ways of making a cobble gin. Let's see, we can do this mixed with lava, make a very simple one. What do I want this to be hooked up to? We can hook it up over here, I guess. And then we need some sort of storage. You know what? A barrel would be good. It's it's because it's sort of sophisticated storage, but it's just called oak chest. And I can't tell because they don't have the mod name tooltip mod in here. <laughs> I'm going to have to add. <clears throat> we could use a collector upgrade. But eh, more expensive than necessary. <clears throat> okay, we could probably utilize the lava from here. For our cobble gin. Might as well. Um, so cobble will generate... You know what? I kind of want to just go with a chest. How about that? How about we just do that? All right. We just do that. And then uh, for the water, um, we can get by with the water being on um, stairs. But we don't get it leaking out everywhere. Do, 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 do. Stairs. And trap doors. God, the inventory management in this is absolutely rough early on. Inventory is absolutely rough. So rough. To go like this. Okay. That should generate cobble. And then we just need a gold block and we're good. What are you guys thinking so far about this? What's your thoughts? So far, so good. Inventory management sucks, though. <laughs> IGN, 10 out of 10.
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm using it, but it's, it's semi, it's kind of useful. It's kind of useful. It does have its use. It's still very rough with the inventory. Even with that. Without that, it'd be 10 times per. It is weird that they gated, like, they didn't add a mod like Simple Source. I mean, for server stability, it makes sense. Maybe have added that without the piping ability? Would have been useful, like, remove the piping mod stuff. Um, now, I'm thinking about just temporarily sending that into a crusher. Um, how do I want to do this? Um, Is integrated dynamics tool in here? Yeah, integrated dynamics is in here, but it is uh, something you get later on. You don't get it right away. Yeah, th another thing with create, going up with create is not easy. It's never been never been easy to go up without using shoots or um, fans. Right, let's see. Let's get this. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Eventually, I'm going to get things put in toolboxes, and it'll make life a little bit easier having these things just in toolboxes. Uh, let's get the belts. I need those funnels. I literally just put away. Use a belt to see where it goes. Yeah, I can definitely... I think this should be fine. What are we doing? Just sleep. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it, my dude. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It'd be nice if this was actually facing the right direction. Okay, uh, there's that. That can go there. And we can have a vertical gearbox. That is doing this. And then funnel. And funnel. Believe it or not, that should work, I think. <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> We don't have any more of those. We've got plenty of gearboxes. How much this junk? There's the encased.
Oh, that's in the way. Just a gearbox, and we should be good. Wrong way. And that does not work there. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so this needs to be probably placed here directly. And then this needs to be placed here. Um, and then we can put the funnel on it. There we go. Uh, to power it, we can still use the same thing that we were going to do. This. And two gearboxes. That's not a problem. We'll just need to use two of these. Okay. That is creating gravel. Um, and then we just need to send that gravel up here. Easier said than done. Um, because I don't think this is perfect. Um, that actually might be right on the money. Oh my god, it is. Okay. Look at us go. Here's some basic andesite automation to go on going on. Then we just need to set this filter up. All right, we're producing some andesite. I think. Right? Andesite, if we do that, it turns it. Okay, gravel turns it inside. Good, good, good. All right. The only bad thing that will happen is, unfortunately, with this, without a way to turn it off, without having the redstone from detecting if this chest is entirely full. Um, yeah, it, it, it will start to spill over into the world, unfortunately. Create has a real big issue with that. A lot of in-world things happening. Technically, I don't need... I do need this... Oh, no, I don't need that, do I? True. You are correct. Look at that. Kind of fancy looking, isn't it? That's very fancy. That's what it's all about, though. Yeah, we can make a clutch. Um, I don't know if a clutch fits directly in there, though. I think we have a clutch. Yeah, it doesn't fit into where we're at. In the future, we'll definitely have a clutch here. But we can't fit in a clutch right now. That's what I love about Crate. Everything you do looks cool as hell. <laughs> no. 
All right, there's the belts. Yes. Thankfully, though, we'll at least have a full thing. I mean, we could put a void upgrade inside of the, the barrel. Um, later on, we'll be able to do that. Void upgrade wouldn't be bad. I'm trying to think, Interman Farm, we would have to go to the end. Look at all that andesite, though. Oh, so good. So we've got the andesite farm done. Now we just need the tree farm. That's the thing we're going to need. You know what? I want to set up water wheels here. That is going to go slow. I kind of want the starbuckle to be in my inventory. Move the starbuckle wheel one block to the back and you put the clutch there. True. Do we have a stockpile switch? Or whatever they're called now. Smart. It's not called a smart observer. Inventory detector. I don't know. I mean water wheels. Where'd I put the water? Dude, I need an eye tracker. I, I know I say this a lot. They're my inventory. I need an eye tracker just so I can see what I'm looking at sometimes. Like you guys can see how I'm just blatantly missing everything in front of my face. And I'm not even like trying to do that. I just literally can't see what's in front of me apparently. Okay, now we can do... We don't need to make that fast. This doesn't have to be fast. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lamu. Lam. Lamu. Thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the crew. Welcome, welcome. Your wife calls it man vision. I mean, I feel I call it like streamer blindness. Definitely. But yeah, thank you for that sub. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, we need buckets, right? Buckets of water. We don't have infinite water at the base. I don't know why. Yo! Spinny90. Thank you for the prime as well. Welcome to the crew. Hey. Huh. Uh. Johnny Bravo. Uh. Hey, yeah. Welcome to the crew as well. Welcome, welcome in. Clutch receives the red zone signal? Yeah. Okay. So for this, we'll just hook these up. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get out of the way. Honestly, don't know if I even need to go that far with them. Does this even need this to be here? You could probably just put the water right here, right? Um, I don't have my create vision, so I can't see. That's way too slow. Okay, um, yeah, I gotta step back a little bit here. Does it make him go any faster? A 
looks the same. May have fallen asleep earlier. Oh no. Is that is that mean is is that because my my videos are my streams are so boring? Badge. We need this gear ratioed up. Welcome to Gear Ratio 101 with Chosen Architects. All right, today, starting out, to be able to get this done, we are going to need a couple of large cocks and a little bit of the little cocks, small cocks. We're also going to need some casings. Casings would be very great for this process. We're going to use this to essentially set our base, which is going to be this cog wheel, the small one. And to be able to scale up, we essentially take a large cog and we branch off the side like so. Yes, we are shifting gears. Then we go back to another small cog and then we can actually go back to a large cog down here. But before we do that, we have to case this block and now we have it nice and compact. Perfect. That'll conclude today's episode of Gear Shifting with Chosen Architect. Actually, I hope I gear shifted that right. I don't I don't even know if that's correct. Yeah, that seems to be working. Not as fast as I want it to be, but, you know, that's how fast water wheels are now. Pretty slow. You have to gear shift up quite a bit to get them to speed up. Nobody wants slow gears. All right. So now that we have the starbuncle, that's going to make life a little bit easier for some other things. I'm actually going to put this here. Probably going to forget that I did that. Uh, can you not add the water source on top? Um, like you're able to, you used to be able to do? You can, but there's no need to do that. Right? Because... Pretty sure it doesn't change anything. Unless, does that still make it faster? Hold on. Because I was under the assumption that it didn't matter. But this is what I get for assuming, right? One flowing block gives full RPM and stress. Okay, so yeah, that's that. This is max. Don't I have goggles? Yeah, I was going to look for them. Uh, they're in here somewhere. You did have the cog ratio wrong? No, I don't. It's correct. Large cog to small. Large cog. That's small. That's the correct gear ratio. 
This is going twice as fast. And these are producing 256, which is the max. So is it, the thing is, is you, you get this as the base speed and the larger cogwheels are even slower RPM. Um, so yeah. Is that each other together? That's each. I don't really have a way of seeing the full RPM, right? I just see what's being used with the goggles. I have to have like a stress -a meter. I think it just tells me how much each is producing. Okay. So now that I have this, I should be able to easily make several of the other setups that I'm going to need down the road. We need to get that mineral tree farm up. Truly. That's the big thing that we need going. Um, I wonder if we can get away with maybe three or four saws. Because that's the thing we're going to need, right? We're going to need several saws. I wonder if we can just get away with maybe three saws. I think we can get away with three saws for that, that tree farm. Okay, there's this. Yeah, I think three saws should be more than enough. Okay, so we have that. Looks like we got a bunch of extra components. There's builder's tea, which <laughs> you don't need. Um, okay. We'll take this, and I need all of my kinetic mechanisms. Should have a new set over here, too. A lot of kinetic mechanisms. Oh my god, are we about to get more? What was the other tax? What was the other one? Oh, we get a brass funnel for making that. Oh, shoot. Uh, that was a task complete under one of the sections. Okay. We haven't found an andesite area, but we're good. We've almost got this whole chapter done. Starbuckle shades. Do vertical or yeah, when they're laying on their side horizontal, they do work. Or if you stack them up vertically, it's not going to work the same way that you're thinking. Unfortunately. So there's still that limitation. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I don't think I'm having enough time today to set the tree farm up, but it is going to happen very soon. We've already made a lot of things really easy for us. I mean, for a horizontal underground for the tree farm? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can still do that for the tree farm. Yeah, I'm going to be using a single water well, I think, for the tree farm. Yeah, it doesn't need a lot to, to work, <laughs> believe it or not. It still, still can run very effectively. But we are going to need 
a whole other setup though, right? Because essentially on the tree production, which it doesn't really show you here what you need to do, right? Um, it doesn't show you what you need to do. Yeah, that is unlock the next chapter. We don't want to get into that yet. But we are unlocking new sections onto the chapter. Um, yeah, I, th I think I have an idea, though. It shouldn't be too difficult for us to... To set up a few of these, we're going to need a couple of mixers. Right? Um, let me clear this stuff real quick. Okay. So some things we're going to need. So I have this prepped up for next time whenever I pop into this. Uh, which will be Thursday. Um, we're going to need the rotational mechanical bearing. How expensive are you? You're cheap. Okay. So the mechanical bearing is going to provide a rotation from a water wheel. And then we already have the connectors. Uh, these right here, the portable storages. So these are going to allow us to, um, interface right just regular interface um and then we're gonna have saws saws um i also think we need the harvesters so this is where i don't know a hundred percent we already have glue so i'm not worried about glue um let's see What I'm wondering is, it, are we going to have the, uh, do we have to do anything else other than just have this um, running with uh, saw blades? Or do we need like a double setup that has, like, for example, this and then this, and then in front is the saw blades and then in the back is the mills? the way they grow wouldn't it mess it up no no i'll actually have a very specific layout for it and they will get the trees to grow very fast because we have lily pads of fertility they have extra blocks on the bottoms yeah, no, it'll chop the whole tree down. That's not that's not an issue. We don't have to figure that problem out. That's that's actually pretty easy. It's still a normal tree farm. We'll probably only have four spots where it can place the saplings, however. Well, there'll be five spots that it can place the saplings, but you'll see. Actually, we'll it'll have No, we'll it'll only have four places it can place saplings. But right now, I don't have a spot for that tree farm. I want to kind of expand this building to set that up. And now that we have andesite, we can now actually start making things. And now we have a material that's automated that we can build with. And andesite looks really good to build with. So... I think that's something we're going to have to work on. But outside of that, I think... The only thing we're going to need is a way to mix the uh, the items back up. It's not going to be too bad. 
right? So we'll end up getting um, a mineral sapling. There is a chance we can get an actual regular mineral sapling. And there's a chance that we will get a mineral shrub. And then we just need to rejuvenate the mineral shrub into the rejuvenated version. Tom um, Adler just rated you with eight raiders. Or we may get a rejuvenated version. No, no, I think we have to, I think we have to still wash it. Um, the matter. Thank you for the raid, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Hope you had a good, good stream. Good, 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 good stream. Let's see what the weekend market. Yeah, so we'll end up getting the shrub and then we need to turn it into the mineral sapling. So to do that, we'll end up taking some of the berries that we get and we'll just have a belt line because we'll get berries from the tree farm when it farms it. We'll end up getting a few things. We'll end up getting the logs. We'll get some sticks. Um, we'll end up getting, um, so yeah, we'll get logs. We'll get sticks. What else are we going to get? Um, logs, logs, sticks. Actually, can I look here and see? Okay, these are the things that we're going to get. We're going to get logs. We're going to get regular saplings. We're going to get mineral shrubs. And we're going to get sticks. Um, mineral berries. We're also going to get crystallized mineral chunks. And we're going to get... Um, we're going to get the mineral shrub. So we should get these. So the one, two, three, four, five. So we just need five drawers and the tree farm, whenever it spins around and comes by, it's going to deposit its items. We then need to have those items run onto a belt and then be filtered into barrels. Um, and then with them filtered into barrels, um, they should automatically put them in there. So we're going to use, uh, we're going to use functional storage for that. And then we should be able to work with it from there. We should be able to work with them from there. But shoot, we can even we can even use like funnels, I think. To funnel them into the containers. But I want to do some building before we even get any further than that. So that is what we're gonna work on, I think, next stream. Is we're gonna get to building more. Because I've got to go pick up my kiddos. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just end up using drawers. I think that'll I think that'll work perfect. And then roughly where I want to put this, I'm thinking this will be a part of our base branch that's gonna be branching off of here. What can we do with this right off the bat? We can just immediately turn this into like polished polished So what I'm thinking is we'll outline our base area here. Do I have any more diamond? Diamonds are super easy to find underground. <laughs> like you don't even need to really go mining for diamonds specifically. go look at it it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be beautiful when we have it all done chat absolutely gorgeous be adorable Ador that's not the good word for it it's not gonna be adorable chat all right it's not gonna be adorable the 
Adorable's not the word for it. Somebody's like, so you not no no cute base. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Middle. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll go something like that. Right? And then we'll have an extension out this way. And an extension out this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. What's the best way to get better at building? Practice, practice, practice. Honestly, treat it like a Lego build guide. Go on Pinterest. I would say this. Go on Pinterest and straight up just look at some builds and just try and build them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're like, Pinterest? What? What? Pinterest? Yes. No. Pinterest is great. Pinterest is probably one of the best ways to go. Oh, here's all these like collaborated ideas. Just all ready to go for you. It's actually wonderful. Yeah, the best way to learn, though, anything is by doing it. So, if you want to learn any skill, I'll tell you what, the only way you're going to ever learn it is if you do it. Right? For example, for me, learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube, it took me roughly six hours of me constantly doing it for my brain to go and to snap and go, okay, I can now do it without looking. Right? So it takes a long time to learn something. For example, I wanted to learn how to, to solve a Rubik's cube. I sat down and I learned it by continuously doing it. And it was very frustrating, but I did learn one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you can watch people. I mean, but honestly, the best way to do it is to, to probably start trying to build one. Six, seven, eight, nine. And you'll learn something. You'll learn a pattern, right? Um, so there are many patterns that you will learn when when building um one is a lot of numbers matter so numbers matter um in how tall you're going to make something how big you're going to make something numbers matter 100 percent. so wow well, you're still going what do you mean well stream wise yeah it's six hours it's just now three i started early one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm really enjoying this i'm having a lot of fun playing this pack Probably why. You got bullet off your TV at two. Oh no. <clears throat> Yeah, but numbers, I always say this, numbers are, like, super important. Um, you'll learn real quick that, like, 9x9s in modded Minecraft are absolutely some of the best sizes to build things at. For example, right here, I am actually building out 9x9s. Good old Dyer. Right? Right? Good old Dire Wolf. Like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I have a divider, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then a divider. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is uh, 100% nine minutes. They do get used quite a bit. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Divider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Divider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Divider. <clears throat> usually build with seven by sevens you can build with whatever you want seven by sevens work as well odd keeping your numbers odd is really good for modded stuff believe me i just tried with chunk by chunk to continue building in like even numbers and found that it's it just kind of it's kind of infuriating kind of frustrating because most mod stuff are single blocks and so it does kind of get in the way Okay, this will all get moved. This will be really easy to set up in a different way. Once we have more of this up and running. Okay, there's that. You record all your videos at once and just schedule them to be released or recorded and then publish. No, I, um, so like right now my schedule is I do two, I record two videos on Sunday. Um, and then I record, then I stream on Monday. Uh, then I record two videos on Tuesday. Uh, and then I record two videos on Wednesday and then I will stream on Thursday and then also try to record a video on Thursday if at all possible. If not, um, I will I will save that for Saturday and then I will stream on Friday. And then, like I said, Saturday usually would be a day off or I'd be recording that one extra video and then rinse and repeat. That's been my schedule since my kids started back school. It has been my schedule. I feel like this should go out even further, though. Yo, yo, yo! Sir Flack Zang. Did I say that right? Thank you so much for the Prime. We got got a bunch of uh, new subbies in the, the chat today. Where do you get hit with slowness? I wonder what causes gives you slowness. That was for me. Is it this? Mining speed, attack damage. Weird, they have negative effects on them. Rana took away his bits. Wait, wait, what? This stream seems really productive. Tech Joss must be busy. No, no, no. No, he took away the bits. I actually re-enabled them. <laughs> I re-enabled them. They've been re-enabled. I re-enabled them after we got our first storage set back up. After we got our storage set together. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I think this should extend out a bit further on both all sides. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine.
<laughs> I see you guys are trying to keep me non-productive, I see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've been reading about Australian Online Safety Act for work. I haven't been play, paying enough attention, I guess. Oh, cock. I bet that's like reading freaking newspaper, man. Dry. That's like reading the instructions. Who does that? Just kidding. I'm I'm the one that does that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, I'm the type that reads instructions, chat. You heard it here first, I know. Honestly, did you expect anything less? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, we've almost got it done, and then I'm gonna have to pop off. Who should I raid today, chat? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. Outside of ours, we don't have any block swapper mods, do we? I don't think so. You think your internet's dying? Oh no. All right. Well, we somewhat have a base layout of our infrastructure that's going to need to take place here. Somewhat of an infrastructure expansion. So will be plenty of space, I think, to have a tree farm running inside. Yeah, we'll definitely get a tree farm going in one of the corners. One of the corners. Oh, but, chat. I think we're going to have to call it here today. We're going to have to call it, chat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a blast. I know I had an absolute blast today. I've had a lot of fun. We've got quite a bit done. We got some storage, some organization. We got things ready to go, ready to start getting our first set of tree farm up and running. We got building blocks. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. I tell you what. I tell you what. You slept most of the stream? Oh no, Red, oh no. What do you mean, what? I'm just kidding. Understandable. Can we just restart and do it again? Yeah, true. Honestly, I want to keep going. I, I could stream for eight more hours, to be fair. Like, once you start getting things going, you're like, I just want to keep doing this. So. But, unfortunately, we are going to have to call it here. Been a lot of fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I have been enjoying this pack so far and uh, and watching it. And I know uh, I know Tex definitely had a blast. He had a blast Friday going crazy. And then thanks Tech again for the 45 gift subs today. Absolute boss. Those of you who subbed and resub, thank you so much. Let's see if we can find somebody to raid. Who are we going to raid? I just go for a long break. Yeah. Just have the kids walk home. It's true, dude. They they live like right by the like by the house. Isn't that crazy? Unfortunately, there's no. If there was like a sidewalk, I don't. I probably wouldn't mind them doing that. To be fair, 
Do, 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 do. Hermits helping hermits. What, what is that? Where's hermits helping hermits? Why did I not know what that is? All right. Um. Do 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 do. EPK. Is it hermitcraft? Is it like where they help each other, or is it like they help each other as like in like promoting each other? Because I like the idea of like it's just like a a time where it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help blah 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 help blah blah blah. All right, I'm gonna end up Cosmovoli. They are playing Vault Hunters and working on Create, so kind of works out. Kind of works out a little bit. And they're in the end, which is the perfect place if he's got CCI to annihilate, annihilate them. They don't even know what's coming. They're about to die and they don't even know it yet if they have CCI enabled. Oh, no, they have an elytra, so maybe not. Maybe they won't die. Anyways, chat, I thank you so much for chilling out with me today. Um, be sure to check out the links if you haven't already checked out the links there in chat uh, or down here if you're watching on mobile. And um, yeah, let them know where you came from. Chosen's crew has chosen you. That's our raid message, chat. Uh, just spam it in the chat. Just spam it in there. We just set that chat on fire. Honestly, it's the best way to do it the best way to do it all right i'll see you guys over in cosmopolis stream thank you so much i'll see you in the next one which will be should be back on thursday unless i get antsy but i don't think i'll have time so i'll be back on thursday see you guys later bye